everybody. Happy Monday. You're very welcome to the start of another week. And we're early this evening. An hour early because uh, I wanted to do a demo flight and explain a little bit about what we're going to cover tonight. You see, we continue on with our ATC IFR series as, uh, well, the goal, the objective, right, uh, is to kind of break the old mic fright, prepare you with the wordage uh, of what to say and uh, to understand what's being said to you from ATC in an environment like Vatsim. So, we're progressing very well. This is lesson six. And for this demonstration this evening, uh, I'm going to be flying a A320 out of Shannon, and I'm going to ramble up there towards Dublin. And I have a flight plan. My SIDs and STARS are all there, my en route altitudes, all the jazz. I'll be communicating with our own ATC. We're going to have Shannon Ground, Shannon Tower. Then it's over to Unicom. And then as we approach Dublin, well, we have Dublin Approach. Dublin Approach will look after us until they hand us over to Dublin Tower and then we'll also have Dublin ground on so we have a lot of frequencies in use tonight which is kind of helping us knowing that hey we got to move kind of from controller to controller also the focus tonight is I suppose kind of you know the fine tuning getting the phraseology correct and most importantly read back the instructions that we're going to be given so that's the plan right how are you keeping did you have a nice weekend it's kind of sunny in Ireland today with rain uh, and it's very windy and right and it's cold. It was three degrees this morning going to work. Three degrees. Who's in charge? Do you know? So uh, yes, yes. So as I said, the first little bit is just a demonstration and uh, we'll have two groups just like last week. We'll have group A. They'll be starting at, uh, Jesus, what time? 1900 Zulu and then we'll have group B at 20 hundred Zulu and this is the first time uh, we're going to be flying into Dublin with ATC online for us so it's all getting exciting we're getting very close now to what will be our Vatsim event so uh I'll hang on in there for the big push but who's here we'll say hello and good evening you're very good for joining me uh who have we got Bell Bros in the chat super typhoon welcome in Gibbo Ireland how are you Gibbo Rennie Gibbo, you might need Rennie. Uh, restoring 226. Welcome aboard, my guy. Dougal McTavish, the chairman, has rumbled in. Hey, Dougal. Hope you're well, man. Hey, Josh is here. Welcome aboard. Viper Strike is in the house. Flew the Twin Otter over Paraguay. Nice, man. Rambog Mord is here. Good to see you, my guy. AZ Blue Line rambles in. Subscribing for 28 months. Thank you very, very much indeed, my guy. Hope you're well. Hangar Studios, you're looking well. Love your stuff. Love your work, man. It's great to see you. Happy Monday. Toto, cranking up the Toto, has rambled in. Naughty Gnome is here. Good day to you. And thanks for sharing the information on the Discord earlier on for the uh, for the Boeing. Right, uh, getting the old FMS programmed up. I'll show you how to do it uh, on the Mac Do. And at some stage, we'll have a look at the, the Boeing. There's also the AT. There's all of them, right? And then soon, before we know it, there's going to be a Collins thrown in there as well. So we'll have to have a look at all of these. Uh, Sterling, good day to you, man. Uh, it's a great day to fly holding patterns, right? Absolutely going to be mad. Uh, Corn Wolf is here. Uh, Sterling, are you still having problems trying to load that document? Uh, we'll have a look here now in a moment. Uh, Hemingbird is good to see you. She says, I got a baby frog today and decided to get it a DNA test. It turned out to be mostly French, somewhat Irish, a little bit German, and a tad Pole. <laughs> happy Monday to you. Hope you're well. Martel, good to see you. Old veteran 965 is in the chat. He says, happy Monday, y'all, from an old guy who was hurting after a full two days at the air show. Ooh, did you get nice pictures? You did. I saw the Apache. Looked awesome. Iceman is in the house. Good to see him, my guy. Uh, Mr. Square Lee. Yeah, it's happening, my dude. Hope you're keeping very well. Uh, mad Irish bloke. Happy Monday. You're looking well. Larger Life is in the chat. Welcome aboard. Uh, now, let me see. Red Thunder. Good morning. Hope you're well. Soaring AJ. AJH, man. Happy Monday to you. Uh, now, hold me now. Right? Larger Life. We'll be singing Johnny Logan. I think it's time for Johnny Logan now. Uh, right, now. Um, DM me a copy so you're good. Sweet. Okay, that might be out of date because the one on the website is the most current. Uh, hang on, I'll need to fix that. Remind me in a second, Sterling. We'll get you sorted. Uh, Muse fan! How are you, Muse? He bursts in the door saying, how he is, you lunatics, yes. Right, welcome in. Uh, flying tonight. Good to see you, man. You're looking well. So, uh, what I need to do, I will kick you on that, uh, Sterling. You're going to need it. Uh, because I've updated it in the last 10 minutes or so. <laughs> right? You know what I'm like. <sighs> Spitfire RAF 100 is in the chat. It's good to see you, my guy. Uh, now, let me see. Uh, Jeb K J 21 He says, I went plane spotting in Edinburgh today to see the Scottish rugby team. Oh, nice. 
It was minus one, but you got to see an A340. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, Sean Duff, hello. Hope all is well. And uh, well, to everyone watching us on YouTube, lads, you're very welcome in. Great to see you. Do you know, uh, go solar, please. Welcome aboard. Uh, now, let me see. Uh, Star Child, welcome aboard. Happy Monday. Right, so I'm going to have a chat about what we're going to do. And I'll use another screen as I move backwards slowly for a dramatic effect. Did you hear the creak out of the mic? That was hilarious. Right, so now, Jesus, how are you? You're looking well. Uh, so, wait, what are we going to do? I need to get Sterling sorted first. Uh, Sterling, where are you? Me old flower, I shall send you a DM. Uh, let me see now. Sterling, yes, hello, hello. And uh, open the big box with things that I have in the box. And where is it now? Uh, ATC. I better send you the right one and not like send you the one that I've been working on. Uh, <clears throat> one second now, ATC 7.6. Right, Sterling, that's away to you there now, I hope. And we should be caught, right? Uh, now, let me see. <laughs> uh, Muse, are you having issues? Oh, Jesus. Muse was having issues with a sim the other day. Having all sorts of hardship with it. So hopefully it's uh, it's working. Uh, Sterling, you should have that now, so we should be grand. Right, you have two of them. Uh, are you going from Shannon to Dublin? Yes, yes, we are. We're going from Shannon to Dublin. Uh, right, now. Before we get started, lads, uh, this is the Airbus A320. It's from Phoenix, and I've just received an update today. Quite a few changes. So I haven't flown it in its, in its updated state. This could be quite hilarious, but sure, listen, we'll see what happens, right? Uh, now, I think I'm sorted. Multiplayer seems to be working too. Oh, good man. Brilliant, brilliant. So what are we doing or what are we talking about? Well, two procedures that we need to know when it comes to VATSIM. It's all well and good flying along and everything goes according to plan. But what happens if it doesn't? Right? Kaharia, the lovely Kaharia. It's good to see you. Ariane Vatsim, uh, negative mad Irish bloke. We actually have our own scope, would you believe it? We use our own scope, which is able to, uh, it enables us to use a radar and we can connect to Xbox and PC. So we can actually see all the traffic, which is pretty cool, right? Now I have my scope off at the minute and also have my other thing turned off at the minute. Uh, I'll turn them on when we're ready to go. But what I want to chat about tonight, lads, um, <clears throat> if you're flying along and then suddenly, for whatever reason, ATC are too busy or there's, you know, bad weather coming in at the airport, well, they need to hold you. Hold me now. They need to delay your approach, right? And they can't just say, yeah, go on outside and play with the traffic and come back to me in 10 minutes. They can't really do that. Otherwise, it would get very messy indeed, right? So we have these things in aviation called holds or holding patterns, right? Uh, now, Navigraph displays these beautifully, but you can also, you'll see what the holds are if you look at the local AIP. They'll give you the information. So if you go into your Navigraph, by the way, uh, you can completely edit what your screen looks like. So if my screen looks very different to your screen, well, it's only because, well, I've, I've messed with the filters. Uh, we can edit to the things with the stuff. Murph, what happened to me sub? I didn't see it. Uh, Mr. Squarely, you are subbed, but it didn't alert. Jesus, hang on. I wonder, is it caught in this other gadget over here? Hang on now, don't panic. I'm in charge. Well, I'm not really, but do you know what I mean? Recent events, hang on now. I better check this now, do you know? <clears throat> let me see now, let me see. Uh, Jesus, it's not coming through on this either, but I can see you are subscribed. Thank you very, very much indeed, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, what's, don't know what the story is, Mr. Squarely, but thank you. It's, it's Vegas, man. It's all going to be happening. Uh, but anyway, right, so we'll get into this here now briefly and I'll explain to you, as I said, what it is <laughs> we're going to try and do, right? So if you look at this route for tonight, we're all flying the one route. Uh, sorry, I was talking about the filters. Look, go into here, look, see the filter button? Uh, the layers, layers. You can go into the layers and if you click the little preference box on the bottom, you can then select each and every single gadget in the house and that'll turn on or turn off the stuff. Fair enough. That's how you do the thing. All right. That's how you do the thing. So let me see. I'm going to go back to this, turn off that, remove this. And now look, let's look at our flight plan. So our published flight plan, this is what we're going to be doing tonight. So we're going to be taking off out of Shannon on runway 24. We're on the Oscar 3 Bravo departure. Uh, then we're going to be overhead Oscar and we're going to be rambling in on the Oscar 3 Lima arrival. That's our star. And that's going to be into Dublin's runway 28 left. All right. Now, this is where holding comes into it. So we've spoken about spacing and, do you know what I mean, making sure that you're keeping your distance from other aircraft. But what ATC need to do, they need to control your approach. Now, if we look at this big, mad looking kind of a scorpion's tail gone wrong kind of an approach, 
all these waypoints, Kepor, Arvok, Sorin, Sivna, Sugad, the Deltas then, De El Delta Whiskey 704, 5, 6, Pizza, uh, and then you're in before you hit your kind of approach. Well, the idea here is ATC are going to allow you to fly along all of these waypoints because they're part of your published approach, your arrival. It's all published, right? So, i.e. you're following your chart. However, ATC at any moment could vector you, as in they'll give you a bearing or a heading to follow, or they might say direct. So say for example, right, if we're an aircraft, you know, here at Sivna, but there's three or four other aircraft coming in fast behind us, well, ATC are going to say, well, it's going to get busy by the time they come up to here, and they don't want to spend the night giving people missed approaches. So the idea here is... As a last resort, they're going to issue a hold. They're going to hold you, right? Now, in and around Dublin, there are a number of different holding positions or holding patterns. And effectively what it is, it looks like a circuit. It looks like a racetrack. This kind of an oval, right? And there's different directions in which we need to take. And the idea being is, well, our airplane will remain in this hold, Think, go back to the VFR stuff. Remember like your, your circuit, your traffic pattern, yeah? It's the same idea. You're going to maintain an altitude and you're going to stay within that holding zone, right? And the idea being is, well, they can stack you depending on altitude. They're all, by minimum, they're going to keep you a distance of 1,000 feet. So you could be at 4,000 feet. The next aircraft, well, they can enter the same hold, but they might be at five or six thousand feet. Do you get me? They'll keep a thousand feet between you. So let's let's role play this, for example. So we're now at Sorin, and we're going to be continuing all the way around. And meanwhile, there's more traffic coming in behind us. Well, ATC could, once we get to Sorin, we could receive an instruction, go, or, or, you know, direct to... Um, What's this one now here? It's not Liffy. Lapmo. They could say direct Lapmo. And we might be saying, but Jesus, where's Lapmo? Well, let's go in and have a look. So we can see it here on our star. So we're at Sorin and they might say go direct Lapmo. We can't see Lapmo, but it's on our approach chart. There's Lapmo. See it there? You gotta love, you gotta love uh, annotations, right? So this little... Uh, what do they call that? A Malta cross, I think, or Maltese cross. That's Lapmo right there, right? So if we have a look at it, well, here's pizza. Pizza. That's one of our waypoints because we can see it on our star. There's the Divil there look, right? So there's pizza. So they're going to give us from Sorin, go direct Lapmo. Now, if we have everything configured correctly in our flight management system, our flight computer, well, it'll take, oh, it'll look after it and it'll do its thing. We we don't really need to worry about it, right? Uh, so, the Dougal, you want to know the holes on the map? Sure. So, on Navigraph, do you see the layer button? It's like, it's like three kind of, you know, squares. Click on that divil and go down to your preferences down the bottom. You should see like a couple of, like a mixing table. Click on that. And then go to the very top one, the navigation map layers. And once you open this, you select holding patterns. Everything else you don't necessarily need. You can put in waypoints if you wish. That's where you're going to see Lapmo and whatever else, right? Um, but by and large, just make sure your holding patterns are turned on. I read that as pizza, not pizza. I, th I think they say pizza. It depends on their accent. It depends who's controlling. Do you know, Adam the Younger or Adam the Elder, right? Uh, but you get the idea. Um, so that's how you do that, Google. Shout if you're still stuck. So as I said, ATC might say, right, look, it's terribly busy now, right? Um, and this guy is currently at Sorin. So rather than the world and his mother ramble in at Sorin, well, we're going to direct this guy now. Instead of following all the way along here, we're going to say, no, go direct Latmo, which is here. Now, what does that do for the rest of the traffic coming in? Well, the rest of the traffic are coming in this way, yeah? It means then he can filter them to continue on with the star and your aircraft or the next aircraft ahead of you has already landed. They're, they're out of the way now. So there's not any sort of worry when they start coming in this way because he's just extended the distance between you something fierce. Something fierce, right? So that's the idea behind it. That's why they would use a hold or a direct. Sorry, that's why they would use a direct. Now, what about a hold? Let's say, for example, there is an aircraft, uh, you know, here. 
he's on, he's near enough final approach. And for whatever reason, there's another aircraft here, another one here. But sure, we know by the time everyone tries to do their final approach, they reduce their speed. So we start bunching up. ATC will, as a last resort, call for a hold. And in Dublin, for 2-8 left from the south, it tends to be at Sorin. Sorin. Or Sorin. Sorin. That's where they hold them. Now, there are other holding patterns. ATC might tell you to hold at your present position. That's a setting in the uh, flight management system you can put in manually. Uh, or they'll give you a published hold. All right? So, they'll. we're going to expect tonight we're going to hold at Sorin. So, if we're going to hold, what do we mean by hold? If this is the last resort from ATC because they've got to just park you. Holding in an aircraft, it's not in any way efficient. It's a waste of fuel. Airplanes don't like flying around in circles. We're at the same altitude. We're just wasting fuel. So your fuel calculations suddenly be start becoming very important. Now, we're in a flight simulator. We can refuel without, you know, worrying about things. But certainly in the real world, when it comes to holding patterns or holds, well, you have to plan for it. Again, it comes back to your initial planning. If you're planning to fly on VATSIM into a big event, right, and there's going to be... Mr. Squirrely, it did the thing, look. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much indeed, my guy. God almighty. Cheers, man. And um, If you're going to do uh, a VATSIM event and there's a lot of aircraft landing at one particular airport, expect to get a hold. That's because there's a lot of traffic. Chances are you're going to get a hold. All right? So, uh, Jeb says, I'd love to do VATSIM, but it's too scary. Jeb, that's why we're doing this entire course. Uh, it's it's uh, it's only us. We don't, well, I give out to everyone, but I don't really. I'm sure, who's this idiot? Do you know? Um, so, yeah, read back to the ground school manual. It'll teach you everything you need to know to, you know, get yourself up and running. And then we'll eventually jump over to, um, to VATSIM, right? So, there's a couple of things we need to look at a hold. And we have some rules about a hold, which you may or may not be aware of, right? I'll talk about them briefly. So a holding pattern, right? There's uh, three different ways in which we must enter a holding pattern. Now, the good news is, the good news is your FMS and your Mac do, they'll figure that one out. They're going to know what you're doing. Once you give them the radial, the holding radial, they'll figure out what way they're going to enter the hold. But there are three different ways to enter a holding pattern. You have a direct entry, right? Which we'll talk about. That's joining a hold. So you have your direct entry, a parallel entry, or an offset entry. Now, offset also refers, it's the same as a teardrop entry, right? In America, they would call it a teardrop entry, all right? There are numerous videos on how to kind of calculate exactly what position you need to enter a hold from, right? This information that I have here, it's from the internet. I'm more than happy to share it. Um, I'll, I'll get the source of where I got it. I think it was, uh, I think it was the, the Sky Library or one of those. But anyway, Basically, there's a way you can divide it fairly quickly, right? Now, you can use the thumb, finger, and baby finger method. Yeah, man, but you can do that. Uh, or you can use the 70-70-110-110 method, right? Uh, don't worry too much about all of this. This is great for, you know, learning why and how and whatever else. Tonight, we're focusing mainly on the communication. It's mainly the communication this evening, right? Um, Jamlin, thank you for the subscribe on YouTube. Uh, now, let me see. Where are we at? We're over here, look. It's very busy. Echo Tango, welcome in. Nighthawk, good to see you. P.S. Mirandai, welcome aboard. Gibbo says, wasn't Soren one of the baddies in Star... Soren? He was. Was he like a Klingon? No, he wasn't Klingon. Soren. Jesus, Gibbo, you have me there now. Live long and prosper. Uh, but anyway, you get the idea. I'll, I'll make all of this available to you uh, and you can read up on it. Again, there are tons of extremely good videos on YouTube all about the different ways in which you can enter a hold. You know, uh, 320 Pilot. There's loads of lads who've done this. Real World Pilots, in fact, will offload this to you as well. Um, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Jesus. I forget his name, but I'll, I'll post all the links, right? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So, on the hold, there's a couple of things you need to know. Unless it's stated otherwise, a holding pattern will have right-hand turns. Unless stated otherwise, they'll turn on the right, all right? And um, they also have a rule when it comes to the distance of how long you must spend on an outbound and an inbound leg. An outbound is moving away from the fix, inbound is moving toward it. So, it's based on altitude. Again, don't worry too much about this, but 
If you're above flight level 140 or 14,000 feet, it's a minute and a half is the length of time it should take you to, to do either an inbound or an outbound. Forget the wind for the minute. The wind will change that, but forget all that for the minute. So above 14,000 feet, it's a minute and a half. Below 14,000 feet, it's a minute. All right? But again, don't worry too much about the absolute technical aspects of a hold. This is about getting the communication right, and then you go off and you practice it. All right? Um, so I'll leave all of this. Uh, I'll, I'll pop it over on the Discord for you. This explains how it works and why it works. So we know what a hold is. We're going to continue within this area. Right. Brilliant. So we're flying along, and we can see the hold at Sarum. Now, it's worth mentioning, you have to look at your charts. You must look at your charts. Charts are everything in this. If you see a box on your chart that has a hold, because sometimes the hold may not be displayed like this on your chart, there may be a separate window. And for example, if we were to look at this in Hia, uh, actually, if I look at one for Shannon, if I look at an approach for Shannon, uh, let's look at 2.8. Now, there's a cork maybe. Hang on, I'll find one here now. Uh, it's, I'm almost certain there's one at Cork. There's a mad looking devil at Cork. Uh, let's see here now. So an approach for, I don't know, pff, one six. Here's the ticket here, look. Uh, so if I press this, pff, let's just look at Cork, for example, right? Now, see the way we have information. There's a hold here, Roval, and we have more information up here on the top right hand corner. Roval holding above 5,000 or if ICSDME is unusable. So it's telling you here, look, it's telling you the direction, it's giving you your max speed, max altitude, and minimum altitude. MHA means minimum holding altitude. And it's not necessarily just for ground obstacles. There's other reasons for it as well, but don't go below that altitude. The point I'm making is the holding instructions may not be directly on the chart you're looking at. There could be a separate box specific to that hold. Just be aware of that, all right? Just be aware of that. So anyway, uh, we're finished with him. Dish. Go back up here to what we were doing. So we can see we have a hold here at Sarin. Now, there's two holds on this chart. Don't worry about that for the moment. Look at your arrival chart, right? The star. And this is on the Oscar 3 Lima arrival. Here's your information, and this is what we need to look at. So it's telling us maximum speed would be 220 knots. Maximum flight level is 140. OK, so we're not going above 140. So it should take us how long to do an inbound or an outbound? A minute, right? Minimum hold altitude is 5,000 feet. All right. So where are we at? Martel, are we in trouble? Uh, El Orion, who wanted to enter the Nexus. Was that it? Was serving your man with the Nexus? Do you remember the Nexus? That's the one that Kirk was in. Anyway, uh, this is, it, it'd be grand. What can we look at this uh, holding pattern? What do we know about the turns? What can we see here? What direction is the hold at Sauron moving? See these arrows? They're telling us the hold goes this way. They're left hand turns. They're not right hand turns. So it's not a standard hold. They're left hand turns. All right. So that's important. Uh, we can also see this bit of information. We have three, four, five degrees and we have one, six, five degrees. Yeah. Now, the old mathematician will say, but Janie, that looks like an interesting figure. 345 minus 180 gives you 165. What's 180 degrees? If you're facing this direction and we tell you do a 180, you're now facing the opposite direction. 180, the half of 360, 360 degrees in a full circle. Right. OK, we've got info. So 345 degrees is the direction we need to be facing. If we were to tell our computer on the aircraft 165 degrees, it's going to make a mess of where the fix is going to be, i.e. we're not going to fly in the designated holding area. Fair enough. So it's a left turn and the initial uh, course or the uh, bearing is going to be 345. Now, I'm going to show you all of this, so don't worry about it. I'm going to teach you how to operate a hold at Sorin, and once you know how to do it, you can apply the same logic and, what, what's the word we're looking for? Apply the same skill set, if you wish, to any other hold anywhere. Anywhere. And it's, holds are terribly boring, right? 
Uh, but they are important. They are important. Now, it's also possible when we enter a hold, we may not know how long we must remain in said hold, right? ATC mightn't tell us. Jesus, okay, I'm in the hold. What to do now? Or ATC might say, uh, expect hold uh, exit, or they might say, expect approach in 25 minutes or 10 minutes, or they're, they're, they're going to slip you more information. So you'd be saying, okay, I can resume my approach in the next 20 minutes. All right, I'm going to hold for 20 minutes. Fair enough, right? Or they might say, um, you know, expect to exit the hold in five minutes, or they might even say complete three full holds or three revolutions or three circuits or three patterns. This communication or the voice procedure, it will vary depending on your region. Don't ever worry about it. And again, if there's a quiet day on VATSIM, you know, the airport is relatively quiet. Use this, the PDC, drop them a little message and say, hey, is there any chance, would you mind terribly, may I practice some holds? And the, if the controller isn't busy, he might say, yeah, sure. And then you'll say, right, can you confirm what I need to do? They'll work with you. Do you know what I mean? They'll work with you. Um, who is this? Tor talking bros. Thank you very much indeed. Max Shiggity's in the house. Welcome in. Uh, Josh says, I've never heard complete three. Yeah. So they might say complete. They might even say complete one hold, right? Uh, enter the hold. And then they might say after one turn or one revolution, e uh, exit the hold. It depends on the airport, right? Um, but yeah, there's, there's, just be prepared that there might be different um, phrases used in order to do what you're doing. Fair enough. Just be aware of that. It may not be verbatim. It may not be word for word. But just have the understanding you're going to enter a hold, you're going to hold, and then you're going to expect to leave the hold, but you don't budge until ATC tell you. That's the most important. When you're in the hold, if you're struggling to keep your aircraft on the actual course, but there's a couple of things we can do to help. Your aircraft speed, for example. Think of the bank angle, not your bank balance, your bank angle. What degree of angle is your aircraft, uh, you know, rotating on its longitudinal axis uh, in order to maintain a hold? Usually, usually for an airliner, it's about 25 degrees. It's about a 25 degree bank. That's usually sufficient. Now, it depends on your speed. So if you were going to be doing, uh, we say, a hold, I'll put this in a colour so we can see it. If you're travelling at, let's say, 220 knots and you're on the hold like this, well, that's all wonderful, isn't it? Because that's 220 knots and you're maintaining it, right? What if, for the love of all that isn't bejesus, you're doing 300 knots? What might happen? It'd be something like that, wouldn't it? Because you're going faster, much, much faster. Yeah, because there's a limit in which you can bank your aircraft. Now, if you're going a lot slower, this might happen. So how we offset this, it's all to do with your speed and also the length of time you wish to conduct the hold. And you can program that into your uh, flight management system. You can you can program that in. All right. So that's holding. The last bit of thing we're going to do is a missed approach. And we've we've already dealt with missed approaches before. However, we're going to go back over them tonight because there is ways around it. And, you know, it's it's not a worry. Oh, no, I've gotten a missed approach. Don't worry about it. It's going to happen at VATSIM. It just is, right? So let us look at our approach chart into 2-8 left. So let's say we've done a hold and now, yeah, continue on there now. Come on in. Sure, we've the kettle on. Brilliant. You're now inbound for your um, landing. It's an ILS approach, runway 28 left, all is looking well. You've just passed Lapmo, you're fully established and you're about to land. And before you know it, ATC jump on the blower and they say, go around or go missed approach or just, you know, go missed. Oh, Jesus, you have to go missed. So again, we have to figure out, right, what are they actually telling us? Remember, the missed approach is going to be published on the chart. The information is there. The answers are right here in front of us. So for runway 28 left at Dublin, let's have a read. Missed approach. Climb straight ahead to Gannett. Okay. Oh, Gannett. Where's, oh, look, there's Gannett there. It's the thing that says Gannett, look. There's Gannett. Okay. Fly straight ahead to Gannett at or below 3,000 feet. That's important. At or below 3,000 feet. Fair enough. Then turn right to Delta, Delta Whiskey 034, which is here. The next waypoint. 
then proceed to the Dublin VOR, which is this little gadget in here. Okay, maximum 200 knots. Okay, so we have two restrictions or two constraints. Two constraints, altitude and speed. As pilots, we must obey these, unless unable, for whatever reason. Um, I can't go as slow as 200 because I'm an A380, you know, super, and I'm overweight. Story of my life. But, you, right, uh, you have full control, but you got, like, if the, if the chart says do this and you're unable, you need to tell ATC, hey, can't do that, for whatever reason. There could be an emergency. You may, you, you know, th there could be a problem with the aircraft. But we're going ahead of ourselves. Proceed to the Dublin VOR to initiate another approach or as directed by ATC. For this lesson tonight, we're going to focus on initiate another approach. Initiate another approach. So I'm going to talk you through it. What's going to happen? When we get a missed approach, we'll be told, go around or go missed approach. Right? There's all things happening with stuff. Who's this? Uh, Lester Brandon, thank you very much indeed for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, happy Monday. Hope you're all well. Caleb is here. Good to see you. Uh, Super Ty says, or, or Concord. Yeah, could you imagine if you're in, you know, Concord? Musefan says, define fully established. I was under the impression that once you're on the localizer, you're fully established. Last week, you were given out to me for switching to Tower 2 early. You can be established on the localizer is when your LOC is captured. You're not fully established until you have lateral and vertical uh, lock, right? Lateral and vertical. That means your glide slope and your localizer have now been captured. It's only then that you are fully established. That's what they mean. I am fully established. Glide slope and your LOC or your lock. All right. That's what that means, Muse. Um, and that's usually within seconds of each other unless you're too high. And if you haven't been fully established by the uh, localizer, it's a missed approach. Good luck. You're too high. You know what I mean? Scorpio is here. I was only asking about you the other day, man. I've missed you. I hope you're well. Look at that. Jesus. 37 months. Thank you very, very much indeed. So, uh, as I was saying, we're going to treat this to initiate another approach. We'll go missed approach. We'll fly to Gannett. Delta Whiskey 034, the Dublin via war, and then after that, we're going to head over to Delta Whiskey 017. Then we're going to go back to Lapmo and then go in for another approach. ATC will advise us on what to do. When we go missed approach, they'll then probably say, contact Dublin approach, one to one decimal one, uh, and we'll contact Dublin approach. We'll say, hey, Dublin approach, Firefly 235, missed approach, direct Gannett, give them our altitude. And uh, we'll get advised then. He might say, and they might well say, hold, or they might say direct to, or they might say call uh, or contact tower when you are re-established on the localizer. Something like that, right? Something like that. Muse, uh, that would look correct. Established on the ILS and not established on the localizer. Yeah, when you're fully established, you're established on the instrument landing system, not the localizer. But you hear people say established on the localizer. You can still be established on the localizer, but that doesn't mean you're fully established. Does that make sense? Uh, hi, Marfan all in chat. I've been away in Spain for a few weeks. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Uh, now, Skoda's racing at Goodwood. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Jesus, you need to get going. Right, so you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So that's what we're going to do. Don't worry too much if it goes whoosh, over your head. You're going to see it all happen now in a couple of moments. So I'm going to clear this. And uh, that's our route. That's how she's going to be looking. And uh, I can turn off some my points here because my map is a little kind of full on. There we go. Right. Okay. So we're going to move this puppy over here to the side. And uh, I'm, now we scope. Uh, do I need my scope on? I probably do, Rambog, don't I? So I'm going to turn on this. Now, at the moment, lads, we're not jumping on um, Southeast Asia. Just just stay on North Europe for the moment, all right? And I'm going to be on approach. So let me see. I'll do the gadget with the thing, and I shall connect. And I'm going to go to approach, and I'm on approach. Connect. Yes. Grand. Right, that's all tickety-boo, I think. So uh, what we're going to do, quick look on the website. And this is where we're currently at, right? So... Uh, introduction, that's all grand. Course registration, we're closing this soon. So if you haven't already joined the course, sign up quick, right? Wrong approach, Murph. Sorry, Rambog. Uh, disconnect. 
EIN approach. Yeah, Muppet Murphy. Jesus, lads, I'd go far, wouldn't I? Dublin approach. Connect. Thanks, Rambog. Uh, right, so, Notums. There is a Notum uh, presented for tonight. You'll see it here. Notums for Lesson 6. That's for tonight. Group A, Group B. We also have fixed meters and a fixed route. Have a read of that, lads. All the information is there. Make sure you read the Notams each and every week. All right? Perfect. So, uh, the document is next, the ground document, 7.6. This is where we're at. And if we scroll down, we are on uh, holding Mr. Proach, lesson number six. And this is all the information here. Okay? So I want you to read down through it. As I'm doing this, I want you to follow along and let's see how we go. All right? Super duper. So I'm going to jump in. Uh, I've already got me ATIS, so quick check on that. Do, 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 do. Where's my mouse? I need my mouse. Right, here's my mouse. And uh, Shannon ate us. Uh, information alpha is current. Okay. Okay, so we're going to jump in here and... Uh, right, where's my aircraft? We're looking good. Uh, also, make sure your flight plan has been filed. Right, that's the first thing to do. So I am currently at stand 3-2. I have information alpha on board. And I'm Firefly... 235, and I want to get my IF4 over to Dublin, right? It should be as simple as that. So we're going to press the button and see what happens. So I should have pressed this button, push to speak. Hang on. Right, there we go. So we'll, uh, we'll press this and then see what happens. Shannon Ground, Firefly 235, Airbus A320, Stand 32, Information Alpha, IF4, Dublin. Firefly 235, Shannon Ground, can you confirm you're on the Southeast Asia server? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Hang on! Uh, Shannon Ground, Firefly 235 confirmed, now on the Southeast Asian server. I forgot to press the button. You grant. Anyway, pop this up out of the way. Jesus, I'm very good for timing, lads. I'm going to tell you, I'm already mad late. Don't worry, we'll get through this together. Great start, great start. Rambog probably can't see me just Our yet. Firefly 235. Yeah, now we see you on scope, but uh, we can't see a flight plan filed. Could you uh, file that for us? Firefly 235, we'll go. Ah, brilliant. It's just like the real world in VATSIM. I forgot to file a plan. Right, hang on. I'll show you how to do this, lads. Ah, this is brilliant. Right. Jesus, Murph. Flight planning. Right, we're going to our flight plan. Yes, yes, we need to file our flight plan. And submit a new flight plan. Yes, fester and eejit. Yes, yes, I'm going to do this now. I am Firefly 235. I am an A320. Uh, medium category. Departure is Shannon. Uh, off the block at... Oh, Jesus, look at the time. Uh, oh, Jesus. Um, altitude uh, is 150. Airspeed is going to be 250. Most of us are flying at 250 tonight, lads. Arrival is going to be Dublin. And me route. Did someone someone type in exclamation point route into the chat quick? I need to do a copy and a paste. Don't all jump on it together now. There we go. Brilliant. Old veterans in there first. Brilliant. Right, copy that divil and paste it. Flight plan submitted successfully. Ah, great. Ah, brilliant. Right. We should be grand now. I'm hoping anyway, right? <laughs> Start the APU, you muppet. Yes, yes. All is looking good here. Yes, yes. And remember, I can't start up my engine or any of that jazz. Start the APU. Uh, all this is looking good. And we're just going to wait now on Rambog to say, yeah, I got that. Now, what else do we need to do? Okay, flap is open. APU is powering up. We started an hour early tonight. We're only going up to 150 just for this on Google, yes. And the reason being is it's all to do with speed restrictions. That's all. But usually you'd be going up a lot higher. You know what I mean? Uh, Firefly 235, flight plan has been submitted. Firefly 235, yeah, we got it here. Advice ready to copy. Uh, ready to copy, Firefly 235. Firefly 235, you are cleared to Dublin. Oscar 3 Bravo departure, runway 24. Stop climb 
light level 9 or 0, squawk 6665, and departure frequency is 122.8. So now I've got to read all this back, so I write it down. Clear to Dublin on the Oscar 3 Bravo departure, runway 24, stop climb flight level 90, squawk 6665, departure on 122.8 for Firefly 235. I pressed the wrong button. I actually pressed my transmit button. What a muppet. Clear to Dublin, Oscar 3 Bravo departure, runway 24. Stop climb nine stop climb flight level nine or zero. Squawk six 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 five and departure on one two two decimal eight. Firefly two three five. Firefly two three five, read back correct. Contact me for a taxi. Welcome. Cool. Grand, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. So I've now just got the clearance and all is well in the realm, right? So uh, let's have a quick look. In my aircraft, my flight plan is in, all the details are in. We have a stop climb of flight level 9 or 0. I can't go above that. Come down here now to my little squawk box, put in my squawk. We are 6665. And we're going to go TA and turn on the, the gadget, right? And uh, frequencies and all that are going to be grand. Uh, so it's at this stage now, APU should be running, bleeds are running, external power off. I'm going to disconnect uh, my external power. Phoenix, yes, yes, yes. Uh, ground services, disconnect the GPU. Chocks and cones are out of there, and we should uh, call the tug here. Uh, let me see. Prepare for push. Uh, Aer Lingus, why not? There's my little push fella. And Firefly 235, request push and start stand 3-2. Firefly 235, push and start approved, face east, QNH 1014. Push and start approved, facing east, QNH 1014, Hector Pascals, Firefly 235. Okay, so I've just received permission to push the aircraft back. Uh, QNH 1014 is set. Um, what else do we need to do? So he's after telling us to face uh, east. Right, we have to face to our east. Where is east? Well, let's have a look at our chart to help us. So we're currently facing Contact south. Completed. We need My to face east. So our nose needs to go that direction. Fair enough, that direction. Brilliant. Right, let's move this divil across. So we're waiting for uh, me pushback gadget to do the job. GSX usually works. So we're just gonna wait for this guy to connect. Back her in there now, Cynthia. And, uh, just make sure, lads, that you're on the North Europe server when you boot in, unless the lads have you, because you can, you know, you can probably, you can probably fly and watch this as they're moving along. Uh, now, Q and H is set. Locking He's locking the gear now. Ah, this is brilliant. Right, so last couple of checks here. You know, I need to be ready for a push and start. Usually, you'd only call for a push and start when, um, when you're good to go. You know what I mean? When you're good to go. But it's important, you know, interrupt pushback. No. No. Do the thing, Mr. Man. Don't, like, just wait there. Do the thing. Let's see what happens, right? Uh, is this the Phoenix? It is. It is the Phoenix. APU bleed is on. Company message is in. Don't worry about any of that stuff at the moment. There's a flight information. That's what we want. Come on, lads. Give us a push. Ground crew on strike. Parking brake is set. Come on, GSX. What are you doing to me? Continue pushback. Uh, now, we need to face east. So if we need to face east, east is to my left. So that means nose, left, tail, right. Isn't it? Release parking brakes. Brakes coming off. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Oh, you don't need to tell us twice. All right, so, start her up. Power coming in. Hello there. Namakani, welcome in. Uh, is that a GSX issue for the bingo? Oh, it is. It is. Not only that, I just realized if GSX turned on and the scope is going to be ruined. Shh, shh it's fine. Uh, right, where are we at here now? Turn on there now, Betsy. Now, what did I tell it? Nose, left, tail, right. If I get this wrong, it's going to be hilarious. 
There's a stutter. We don't like stutters. What's going to happen here, lads? We need to face to the east. Now, a lot of the time, you'll actually hear it on uh, Vatsim, right? Turn us there now, Jemima. Now, lads, there should be no one. Or maybe there is. All right, okay, so there's there's plenty of pilots here on the ground. That's okay. Okay, good start on engine two. We'll go for engine one. Dog barking. There's a Muppet talking. So far, so good. So the next job is we're going to be uh, looking for our taxi clearance. So our pushback instruction was pushback approved facing east. We're now facing east, yeah? And we can confirm that as well, because we're going to be pointing roughly in the 090 neck of the woods. That's east on our little compass, right? Okay, GSX, you're doing a great job there now, but like, do you know what I mean? Thanks. Uh, stop and complete. Set parking brakes. Brakes on. Okay, so our push is now getting ready to disconnect. I'm going to call up tower because I'm pretty much going to be ready to uh, taxi. Flaps are going to be set to one. Uh, what else do we need here? Constraints are all good. Speed. I'm going to keep this in my mode for the moment or manual mode. Uh, nose wheel steering. That's, they have to disconnect the gadget first. That's why we have that little alert. So see this? Nose wheel steering disagree. That's because we're connected to the tug, but that's quite okay. Predicted wind shear. Uh, put it on system one. They usually you'd wait. You wouldn't do this while the lads are on the ground. It's radar and stuff, you know. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Thanks very much. Lead off. Pass switch clear. off. Right is clear. Runway turn off. Lights uh, can go on. Strobe is set to auto. And now we're going to call for a taxi. Uh, Firefly 235, request taxi. Firefly 235, taxi Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, hold short runway 24. Taxi Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, hold short runway 24. Firefly 235. I'm writing all this down and there's things happening. Airliners Live have just raided. Asher, good evening. Double alerts. That's how important you lot are. It's great to see us. Right, I'm trying to... This is fun. Learning with Murph. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, turn on your taxi light. Right, here we go. There's Pajo. Good luck to you. He's walking away. How are we looking? Let's go take off config while we're sitting here. Spoiler's arm, right, that's the last thing to do. So we have our taxi clearance, let us taxi. So uh, the information that we got, airliners, thank you very much indeed for the raid, lads. So we have Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, and hold short, 2-4. Eh, it's fairly straightforward. We hope. So we're going to taxi here. Taxi, taxi, taxi. And uh, remember, the old kind of, the old story goes... Keeping ahead of your aircraft. So the next frequency, for example, the next frequency is going to be um, Shannon Tower. But we stay on ground at the moment because all we have is a taxi clearance. And just be careful of your speed. Remember the, you know, slightly faster than like a brisk walk. Because you're, you're around the apron. Once we head out the other way, we should be fairly all right. You know what I mean? So this is the idea. Now, for this demonstration, Jays, we're going to be late. I'm such a mo I should have started two hours ago. But anyway, we'll get through it, lads. Um, what we're going to have here is a demonstration of a hold and then a demonstration of a go around. Now, I'll do this fairly, fairly lively, right? Uh, it's just to give you an idea of what it is we're doing. So anyone who's booting in to go flying, just just bear with me. 
I'll try and get this done as quickly as possible. Right, we can bring our speed up here a little bit. So now we've just turned on to Delta 1. We're going to go up to Delta 2, Charlie, and then we're going to hold short of the active runway. So at this stage, we're just making sure we're fully set up. There's no light screaming at us. Everything looks okay. Transponder is doing transponder things. It's asking us to arm the spoilers. We're going to arm those. Up you get, you devil. And everything else appears to be looking fairly okay. Okay, so if I get stutters tonight now, it's that window I'm jumping out, right? It's Well, it's a door, right? But you know what I mean? Take your time, you trottles are shagged. Murph uh, planned the V-speeds for takeoff from intersection. PS Miranda, yes. So again, the Airbus, it's, it's, it knows. Shannon is, it's, it's rare in Shannon you ever have to reconfigure um, takeoff speeds because the runway is so long. An intersection departure on runway 24 at Charlie, there's no impact. If it drastically reduced the length of the runway, well then yes, you would have to put in the runway length. You would do so in your tablet over here. So you'd say, look, uh, runway 24, uh, and you can also put in some other information, or you can do it from inside the Mac do directly. But for this, it, it makes no difference. No difference whatsoever. So we're configured with our altitude restriction, which is going to be flight level 9 or 0, and I've just put in manual speed here of 200, all right? Now, if we look at the charts, we have a speed constraint because we're at flight level 150, that's going to be our final cruise. Uh, 250 is our maximum speed here, right? V Skycheck, good to see you. Welcome in, man. So we're now on Charlie. And as you're taxiing, again, even on VATSIM, you're keeping an eye out for anyone and anything. The controller can see the scope, but like, if something goes wrong, it's up to us to shout, you know? Uh, 100% Josh, yeah, like, the, the Airbus is highly intelligent when it comes to, um, what you need to tell it. You don't need to tell it an awful lot, it kind of figures it out, you know what I mean? And Firefly 235 holding short, runway 24 at Charlie. Firefly 235, contact Shannon Tower now, 118.7, bye-bye. Contact Shannon Tower, 118.7 for Firefly 235. Okay, next frequency. Now we connect, we wait, we listen, make sure there's no one else having a conversation, and then we start shouting. Shannon Tower, Firefly 235, holding short, runway 24 at Charlie. Firefly 235, Shannon Tower, hello. Line up and wait, runway 24. Line up and wait, runway 24, Firefly 235. Sweet! Okay, we're entering the runway. Lights on! And stick on the L transponder, TARA, and continue. So I'm now on the Shannon Tower frequency, and the importance here is read back. Read back, yeah? He's so smooth on the radio, isn't he? You can just picture him. He's probably wearing like a smoker's jacket and a gold medallion, <laughs> right? You know, sipping away in a glass of brandy. Brilliant. So our instruction was line up and wait. And take our time. All is well. All my lights are on. Squawk is doing squawk things. The, the aircraft is configured for takeoff. And we'll just sit tight. And Firefly 235, report when passing altitude 2,000 feet. Winds 220 at 4 knots, runway 24, cleared for takeoff. We'll report when passing altitude 2,000 feet, runway 24, cleared takeoff, Firefly 235. Okay, brilliant. Start the clock. Power coming in. Engine stable. Toga. Here up the air there with us. SRS, runway. And we're moving. Now remember, I have to give him a shout when I pass altitude 2,000 feet. 80 knots. V1. Rotate. Yupsie daisy. Pause the rate of climb. Gear up. Autopilot engaged. Watch your speed. We're in managed mode at the moment. There's, four, there's 500 feet. 
She's only given out that my landing gear isn't up. That's quite okay. But how are we looking? I found a bug. The ignition light is on and it shouldn't be. So we're on our standard instrument departure. We're on our SID. Speed is set to 200. Start bringing the flaps in. We're now passing 2000. And Firefly 235 passing altitude 2000 feet for flight level 9 or 0. Firefly 235, Roger. No further ATC available, unfortunately. Monitor Unicom on 122.8. Bye bye. Over to Unicom 122.8, Firefly 235. Two. Okay, so at this stage, I belt into Unicom. Now, we'd be doing this. You'd be doing this on your radios once we get onto VATSIM. However, um, at this stage, all as well. So, uh, you know, we're, we're on Unicom now. So we would say something like this. Uh, Shannon traffic, Firefly 235, Airbus A320, passing altitude 4,000 feet for flight level 9 or 0, overhead Dysor. Shannon traffic. Because I'm on Unicom, I'm letting aircraft in the entire vicinity who are no longer talking to Shannon while I'm letting them know what am I doing? Who am I? And where am I going? All right? So, so far, so good. I'm going to uh, I'm going to start bringing up the speed here a little bit because I don't want to delay anyone. So, uh, our initial altitude climb was flight level 9 or 0. I'm going to go to my cruise. Again, I'm going to let people know in the world what I'm up to. And Shannon Traffic, Firefly 235, overhead Dysor, climbing flight level 150. Shannon Traffic. And we've told them what the crack is. All right. So we continue to climb. Barrow discrepancy. Uh-oh. Uh, standard. There we go. Okay, we're doing well. So after takeoff checks, let's have a quick look. Landing lights, get them off. We'll keep our... Uh, other lights on, runway turn off and stuff. There's sufficient lighting there. Uh, speed brakes, go ahead and cancel those. Uh, frequencies are pretty much set up. We know what we're doing. And all looks well in the realm. Now, we know, looking at our flight, right? If we bring over our Navigraph charts, lads. We're on the road here now. And it'll take a little bit of a while. We're going to talk to Dublin Approach once we hit Oscar. Because we're on Unicom until we get into the next facility. And you can track this on the likes of Simivware. You can track it on your charts. So on and so forth. Um... But usually if you're flying from point to point, if you're coming off Uni Unicom, uh, you'll know roughly where the controller is. There's no problem contacting them a little bit early. Not too much. I'm not going to call them now. Hey, Dublin Approach. Hey, look where I am. No, he'll say, Shh, quiet, you Egypt. Talk to me in 20 minutes when you're actually in my area. Do you know what I mean? Um, but you get the idea. So our next stage here is going to be Oscar. And then we're going to see what happens at Oscar. And again, I'm going to go through this hold. All right. Now, uh, in fear of breaking things, um, I'm going to break things. So bring up the speed there now like an absolute man possessed. Fly it up there now, Finton, at absolutely full whack, right? Break every restriction in the book. And I'm only doing that for the... You don't do this. I just do this, right? So we're climbing up to uh, 150. We're above 10,000 feet. And I'm just going to increase my speed now. I have no restrictions in terms of speed. So we're going to be overhead Gorto. Now I suppose I could... I wonder what Slew would do. Would Slew make a complete and utter balls of this for the lesson? Maybe not. But let's get established into our cruise here for the moment. Just so we know what we're doing. Now, as I said, lads. All the information that we're looking for, it's in here. It's in here, right? So you can see what I did. We'll, we'll talk through it. Firefly, or, you know, Shannon Ground, who I was... Uh, information, request IFR clearance. You saw the instruction, clear to Dublin on the Oscar 3 Bravo departure, runway 24, stop climb, flight level 9 or 0, departure frequency, and then the squawk. Remember, it's called craft. Clearance, route, altitude, frequency, and transponder. Craft, all right? Uh, is there any advantage of setting your own speed in the Phoenix instead of letting the aircraft control the speed? Not necessarily, Josh. However, I will say this. For new pilots, for learning um, aircraft, especially in, you know, ATC uh, things, the faster you're going, naturally, the quicker you have to react. Therefore, if you put the aircraft into manual mode, right, you can control the speed. So instead of going out of, you know, going into an area at, at exactly 250 knots, 
Well, if you bring it back to like 180 or 200, it just gives you that little bit of room to maneuver if you need to, especially when you're starting off. Don't go at full speed. That's the maximum speed. It's a limit. It's not a target. You know, we've all heard that before. How about texting VATSIM and ATC? I'm deaf and I need text. What do I do? So you can send text on VATSIM. When you file your flight plan, you can let them know if you're on voice or text only. We don't have it here on ours, um, but there is a checkbox for you to say text only. If you're taking part on our course, you can, of course, how many times are you going to say course? You can use text because in this area we have text only ops. So if you need to, you do something like this. You, it's all manual, but you put in, you see this now when I type it. Uh, Oscar 3 Lima. So you do something like this. I'll just type it in. So you can put in or who you are. So who you're talking to. Once you type it in, we'll see who you are. Yeah, we'll see who you are. And then we can respond to you. Does that make sense? But on VATSIM, you can do the same. You can just, it's, it's all the uh, communication is controlled through the likes of an, a V pilot or X pilot. It's called a pilot client. And it works really, really well. It works very well. Right, so, Jesus, we're over speed here, look. And the autopilot is going to click off because I'm a Muppet and I'm going too fast. So, autopilot has... Yeah, well done, Murphy. I wasn't watching what I was doing, look. Easy now, Jemima. Jesus, look at the speed. Don't mind any of this for the minute. It's all sound, lads. Right now. I need to fix that. So I blew through everything, but it's grand, right? I was trying to explain something. You, you know what I was trying to do. Right, autopilot back on. Jeez. Uh, auto throttle is on. Get the brakes off and go. And we're trying to get to what speed? Well, it's in managed. Get out of managed. Uh, I don't know. Call it 300. What's the master caution? Flight level, auto throttle limited. That's okay. There you go. Back into climb. Okay, so it's going to start behaving itself now. Uh, autopilot, why don't we have... Oscar. Take us into Oscar, please. Go. Get out of that. We should be going to Oscar. Enter destination data. We'll do that now in a moment. Direct. Oscar. Insert. Right plane. Take over, please. Okay. Little bit kind of hit and miss, but don't worry about it, lads. All is sound, right? All is sound. Uh, altitude manage mode. There we go. So 15 or 150, and now we're heading on to Oscar. We're going to be talking to ATC at Oscar. So we're roughly, we're here, right? Now we're on Unicom, I'm not worried. Uh, I'll speed this up so I appear now over Oscar. Now, a couple of things we need to do. It's asking us to put in our destination data. Yeah. So if we go into uh, perf and we go to next phase, next phase, here's our approach. So Q and H in Dublin, we already know, 1014. And it's at this stage, you'd be dialing in the eight is for Dublin. Yeah. If the sim crashes, I am going to cry. 1014. Get in there now, you devil you. Uh, temperature's 12. And the radio barrow uh, for our approach is 402. And horse that in. Right, grand. So I'm going to skip ahead here to see what it'll allow me to do it without totally freaking out, right? Uh, if you slew the phoenix, you'll break it, will you? Right, okay. Right, we'll just have to wait and see. So let's have a look on the map of where we are. As I said, we're going to be talking to Dublin Approach once we get into this region. So we don't move yet. We've got to stay on Unicom. But this is where you could monitor another radio frequency. For instance, if you have a look at your second radio stack, you have your standby and active. So at the moment, I should be on uh, 
Unicom, which is 122.8. The next frequency I'm going to be talking to is Dublin Approach, which is 121.1. And again, I'll get that information on the chart, uh, or you'll see it on your Pilot Client. You're going to see the information of who you're talking to next, all right? However, if I wanted to pick up Dublin Atis, well, I could very easily do that. 124530. Information, Romeo. Dublin Airport information, Romeo. 1900 Zulu. Wind 220 at 4 knots. Visibility 10 or more kilometers. Few clouds at 3000. Temperature 12.5. Q and H1014 hectopascals. Landing and departing runway 28 left. Transition level flight level 60. Rescue 001 will be waiting at the end of the runway. <laughs> Advise controller on initial contact that you have information, Romeo. Okay. Information, Romeo, is current. That's okay. Back onto Unicom. So, information, Romeo, right? Surely departing runway will be 28 right. Yeah, not for this though, Muse, because we don't have 28 right. But yeah. If parallel runway operations are active, you would have parallel runway operations. Um, a lot of people don't have runway 28 right in their scenery, so it's the same. 28 left will be the active runway. But yeah, if you're on VATSIM, chances are they'll have parallel runways. Two runways operational, all right? That's the idea. Right, now, moving on. Where are we? I'm over here, look. So I already got me ATIS. So I'm going to talk to Dublin Approach to say, who am I, what am I, and what do I want? So let's have a quick look here at our script, right? Where's my script? It's on the website. Here we go. So let's have a look at the script. So that's a push and start. That's take off. That's all good. That's a departure. That's all good. So Dublin Approach is going to be online. The waypoint Oscar is the zone boundary that we're going to talk to today. So make sure we have the current ATIS. We do. So it's going to be something like this. It's going to be Dublin Approach, Firefly 235, Overhead Oscar, Flight Level 150, with information, Romeo. Hey, Sai Murray, thank you very much indeed. Dublin Approach, come back and say, identified, or if you're in America, they'll say, you know, um, radar contact. Cleared for the ILS Approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima. So they're just confirming, because remember, I've filed my flight plan, they can see all of this. Uh, I'll go back and say, cleared for the ILS Approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima, for Firefly 235. That's it. They've, they're just clearing me for the approach. So they're basically saying, yeah, go on, continue on. You're grand. When coming off Unicom, how do you know when to contact approach? Uh, well, ideally, you want to do it before they beep you, Sorry, Murray. You want to be ahead of it. You know what I mean? So you could be monitoring uh, Unicom, but talking to approach. You usually do it kind of 15, 20 miles out. Usually. So I'm saying Oscar. I can look at my aircraft and it's going to tell me the distance to Oscar. I'm a little bit early. A little bit early. I'll wait till I'm about five miles out. And again, just when you're on VATSIM, it'll slightly be different. You know, they might talk to you beforehand, right? You will see kind of grid lines on the likes of Simiware or whatever. You, you know, you'll see roughly where you're going to talk to them. Now, remember my speed. There's no point hitting this thing at full whack, right? So anyway, we're all going to be at 250 knots. I'm only going faster because of, well, obvious reasons, yeah? So uh, slow down the machine here now, Murph. We're going to go in at 250 knots. Got to slow down. I'm nine miles out, and I'm going to start talking to Dublin Approach. All right? Keep Simmerware open, and it shows the airspace. Yes. Always keep something like a Simmerware open. It really helps. Philanta does a good job as well. Decent job. That's where my memory would let me down. No, but don't worry about it. Just, um, you know, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. You, you know you're going to have to talk to someone at some stage, so just keep an eye on it. So I'm going to give a shout now uh, on Unicom. Again, I'm on Unicom. Uh, Firefly 235, five miles west, Oscar, flight level 150. And that's kind of it. You're just letting them know. You know, uh, inbound to Dublin, for instance. That's all you need to say. VAT glasses, that's a great one, yeah. So at this stage, I know approach is online. 
So now it's time to talk to Dublin Approach. And we, we'll just read the script. Yeah, we'll read the script because this is what helps. Are we ready? So uh, we're going to start talking. Uh, who am I? What am I? Where am I? Grant. Okay. So we'll talk. Uh, Dublin Approach, Firefly 235, Overhead Oscar, Flight Level 150, Information Romeo. Firefly 235, Dublin Approach, identified, cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima, Firefly 235. Okay. So we've now gotten permission. We are cleared for the approach. He hasn't told me to speed up, slow down, climb, descend. He hasn't done any of that. We continue on. And if we have a look at our charts now, well, we're continuing on. We've just entered the star. Oscar is the initial fixed approach. Here's the star. Here is Oscar. So, you know, 160 above. Don't mind that for a minute. We're going 150. So our next waypoint is going to be Durham, Kepor, Arvok, and so on and so on. But we've been cleared for it. Let's just head her on in. All right. So at this stage, you know, this is where you're putting in your destination details, right? Your aircraft, you're, you're, you know, you're starting to get things configured up to say, right, we're well, going to be doing this. We'll set up the auto brakes now. And, you know, how's our speed going? You'll ping the cabin to talk to, you know, Bridie. We're, we're, we're going to be rambling in. Um, you've already made a note of the ATIS information. So at this stage, all is fairly okay, right? All is fairly okay. Unless, of course, these lads want to jump on the bandwagon and give more information like this. Firefly 235, descend flight level 70, join the published hold at Sauron. Huh? Uh, <clears throat> descend flight level 70, join the published hold at Sauron, Firefly 235. Okay, they want me to join a hold. First and foremost, they want me to descend to flight level 70. Okay, well, let's put that puppy in there straight away. So, 7-0. Get me descending. Watch our speed. And we need to enter a hold. Now, we know what hold we're going for. We've already read it up. We've already, like, we've researched all of this. But now we need to put this into my gadget look. Right? We need to put this into our gadget. So, let's find, he said Sorin. Okay, so go down here until we find Sorin. Here's Sorin here, lads. Can you see that? There's the devil now. Sorin, okay. Click on Sorin. Now, see, these buttons, if you ever want to know what they are, you have L and I think V. Lateral buttons, vertical buttons. L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then I think it's V1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. But anyway, see the way when we click on Sorin, it says, right, well, this is where Sorin is. Do you need to do an offset or do you need to do a hold? We need to hold. Click hold. All right. What do we need to do here now? Well, the inbound course, remember we go back to our charts. Where's my charts? Here's my chart. So here's Sauron. The inbound course is going to be 345. Remember that because once we're on 345, that's where we're going to meet with Sauron. We're coming in this direction here. You have three ways to join a hold. Thankfully, the machine is going to do this. 80 sound uh, just like Murph. What are the chances, right? Um, when you enter the hold, your MacDo is going to do it. Now, before you even look at it too much, does anyone know what sort of entry we're going to do to this hold? So we can't join and immediately turn right and then away we go. No, we have to fly over the fix and then we turn back into it. So would it be a parallel entry or would it be an offset or teardrop? Offset and teardrop is the exact same. It's the exact same. Yeah? Parallel? Teardrop? What do you think, lads? We're coming in at this angle here. Our heading, or the direction of flight, is going to be on a heading of 0, 9, or 7. You reckon teardrop? You reckon teardrop? Because it's a left-hand turn, you can't go direct, because it's left-hand. The angle, right? The angle. Remember what I told you about this 70 and 110? So based on our position at 0, 9 or 7, we're within about 5 degrees. This is going to be a parallel entry. 
it's almost a teardrop, but we're, we're within the 70 degree cutoff, right? So it's going to be a parallel entry. Thankfully, the machine is going to do this for us. So the information I need, I need the initial course is 345. So we're going to pop in 345. Inbound is going to be 345. Now, see the way it says the turn. It says turn is or. No, no, no. We need to do left hand turns. So we just use L. L. Now, what about the time and distance, right? Because we're going to be under 4,000 feet or 14,000 feet, uh, we're okay to do one minute. If we wanted to extend this, right, depending on our speed, if we wanted to extend this, you'd start the command with a forward slash and you can change the distance, the distance, yeah? So if I were to put in, no, I need four miles. It'll put that in and configure it for you. And then when it looks correct, see the time, it's going to be slightly under one minute. That's not good, yeah? That's not good. So we're going to put in, okay, Jesus, uh, let's go, uh, ooh, 4.2. Let's see what that configures. 4.2 should give us a minute, give or take. Or it could be 4.4, whatever it is. It's going to wait to think about it. We can insert this now. So we can see Sorin. We need to get to Sorin first. And then we're going to hold at Sorin, left hand tracking 345. It's now in our MacDo. It's in our MacDo. All right. Okay. We've planned it. How is this going to look? Well, here we go. We can see it on the gadget. So we'll go to plan. Pop you out. We'll go to plan. Here's our plan page. And we can now see, well, we've just configured a hold. So we're going to enter at Sauron. We're going to do a parallel entry because we're, we're going to fly on the outside. Then we turn in and back around and then we enter the hold. Is that fair enough? And if we want to compare that to our chart, that looks a little bit wider. But again, that'll all calm down in a moment. And um, that's essentially going to be our hold. All right. So our hold is configured. We're going to be holding at Sauron. For however long we hold at Sauron, well, that's a great guess. Uh, now, we've just dropped under 10,000. Lights on. And we continue on rambling in. Speed is looking good. Now, the Airbus will configure the best speed to maintain in a hold. It's going to do it at the most fuel efficient and, well, you know, the best. And you can see that indicated here on your main screen. Do you see the little green dot? See the green dot? It's looking at around 190 or about 185. Yeah? So we can actually start putting that in. Once we enter the hold, we can bring our speed back or we can put it into managed mode and the aircraft will lock on to its best speed. That's where Airbus kind of ingenuity takes over and it leaves us mere mortals behind. See the little green dot? It knows what it's doing effectively. So let's have a look. The aircraft knows that there's a hold ahead. If you go to our Mac Do, it knows that there's a hold ahead, right? So we have to get to Sauron. Then we're going to hold left turns on 345 at Sauron. Then we can do what's called an immediate hold exit. That's when, we're, when we want out of there. Or we can do a direct to. Or ATC might give us um, a vector, right? But as far as we're concerned, we need to ramble in because we need to hold. Is that fair enough? Okay. So we'll be at our hold in ah, a couple of minutes. I could bring the speed up now, but you get the idea. So with the hold, when you enter it, it's already fully laid out and configured, which is totally fine, right? It's totally fine. So we will fly into the hold position. We'll then turn right. We're going to trace out this direction here, look. We're going to trace out the outside parallel. Then we're going to turn into the hold. And then we're going to start at the initial fixed point. This will be three, four, five degrees, and then we commence our left hand turns. That's exactly it. And we remain here until we're told otherwise. All right. Nearly wish I was flying to practice it. Right, we, we can do, we, like, if this sort of stuff is of interest to you, we'll plan a different session off a live stream. If there's a group of us, we can do it on Discord or whatever, because I'm anxious to get everyone up and going because Learning about a hold and a missed approach, it's vital for VATSIM, right? But the voice procedure that we need to work on tonight um, is also as important, right? So you get the idea.
Now the Airbus, or the Air, Airbus, the Airbus, as I said, this thing is a genius. There's very little configuration needed. A couple of small settings. If you were in the Boeing, right? If you're, now, now in saying that, the Airbus A350 and the A380, slightly different, slightly. You have to kind of, you, it needs a bit more information. If you're in a Boeing, right? If you're using the FMS system, it's kind of the same. Instead of clicking on the waypoint and then telling it it's a hold, well, the FMC has a hold button. You click on the hold. If you see PPOS, PP, that's your present position. Yes? Cabin secure for landing. Thanks very much. Um, you can go your present position. And you can literally hold, well, anywhere. Anywhere, right? Uh, or... When you when you click on direct or when you click on hold on the Boeing, you just put in the waypoint. You can type in the waypoint and then you'll say hold. It's going to come up with the same sort of options. What direction? What's your inbound course? You know, uh, what length of time or distance do you need to cover? It's going to ask you the same things. All right. Same with the G1000s, by the way. So at the moment, everything here is tickety boo, tickety boo into our flight plan, and we can see that we are now moments away from Sarin. We are seven miles out and we're just going to monitor what the aircraft is going to do. We could be outside looking around, but it's me instruments I need to keep an eye on. And with the help of something like Navigraph, because we can actually track what in the name of Jesus is happening, well, we're going to see exactly what we're doing. Exactly what we're doing. So there's no mistake. And this is where Navigraph is a huge advantage for your online flying. Not only does it have your charts, it's the fact that it will overlay your aircraft. You'll see exactly where your airplane is. So it just limits any sort of, you know, confusion. Well, that's where I am. That's where I'm headed. Do you know what I mean? If you didn't have any of this, it's, it's a little bit more complex, you know, a little bit more complex. This is exciting. We're going to be entering the hold. Oh, be Jesus. Now, you could manually fly a hold, you know, if you needed to, you can manually fly it. But for this, let's just see what the aircraft does. All right. So the aircraft now, our speed, we are still a little bit fast because the SID or the hold says maximum 220. So let's bring our speed back as we come into the hold. Now we're at 7,000 or flight level 70. Absolutely perfect. And rather than going managed, I'm just going to bring the speed down to that little green icon. I'm going to match my speed to what Airbus thinks I need to be at is the most efficient way because remember a hold is pretty much the last resort of ATC in order to give spacing to other aircraft you know um Josh says here's the funny thing Navigraph says 220 but the AIP has a hard speed restriction of 220 is that minimum or maximum uh Mr Anderson good to see it sometimes the holes I try to look for uh more circle ish and less race racetrack ish what am i doing wrong or how can i fix it it's primarily your speed so you don't do a full circle and the reason why you don't do a full circle you have to allow for wind it's all well and good saying okay i'm going to tell the aircraft fly on this heading and then you know make a turn and then fly on the opposite heading and then make a turn that's all wonderful but if there's wind for example, the wind is currently blowing against us at eight knots, right? Against our nose. Meaning we would technically have to go a little bit further on this track. And then when we turn 180, we'd have to fly a little bit shorter. And the reason being is, well, the wind is moving us. Yeah. Now, the aircraft will do a pretty good job of figuring this out for you, usually. But if you are flying with real life or even in the same, you can do this for your IFR training. This is where your one minute turns come into it. You're aiming off your wind deviation. All of this, that's more specific to instrument flight um, training. You know what I mean? You often hear people say, yeah, I'm instrument rated. That's where that comes into it. All right. Now, if you have a look at it here now, we're doing well. So it's turning right and it should be on this inner track. It could be the outer track. Actually, sorry, it's the outer track. This is the parallel entry, yeah? And then we'll come exactly where we need to be. We'll come round exactly where we need to be. So we're on our hold. Everything so far is looking good. We hope. If we compare this now, see on the screen here, lads, and this is what's, uh, this is shocking and important, Jesus. This is very important. 
So the hold, we're outside the hold. Because the hold is the inside bit. Can you see that there on the map? We're actually outside of the hold at the moment because we haven't entered the initial fix yet. We're outside of the hold. And you can verify that by looking at your chart. Have a look at the chart and see, look, yes, we're actually on the outside of it. We're going to turn around in here to the right and then all should be well. We'll go into this nice little neat area here. We want to stay within that nice little neat area. But again, the wind might blow us off course a little bit, but by and large, we should be grand. If there's any confusion or you're thinking, Jesus, I can't make this turn, bring your speed down a smidgen. Holding is not a native thing in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It just isn't because the nav data supplied to the sim doesn't necessarily have the holds. That's why we need things like Navigraph to really show us, no, no, there's a hold here. Now, the nav data that they have, the AIRAC data that the sim has, you can still put in the holes, but they're slightly out, right? So I'm going to keep an eye on this just to make sure. I'd say I'm slightly off, slightly off, right? But we'll give it a moment. Wait until we actually enter the hold itself. Navigraph will update the Microsoft Flight Sim nav data, I believe, too. It, well, it does. If you have Navigraph, you're using their AIRAC data, 100%. So at this stage, we're now in the hold. Now, again, we can go into things like set your hold speed, right? So I can tell, tell the gadget, this is the speed I want you to do, right? Um, or I can do it manually, all right? Not only that, I can go in here now and get an idea of, uh, Bijani then, what's the story with me fuel? So see here, look. This is where you put in your reserve and how long you can actually stay in this hold based on your current fuel level. How long can I stay here? Yeah, so 3.5 or 46 minutes. See, the, I can stay here for 46 minutes. That's how long I can stay. Do you see this box here on the right hand side, lads? That's how long the aircraft is telling me based on your current fuel, that's how long you can stay here. Maximum 46 minutes. Oh, Jesus, we're holding for 46 minutes, though. Right? Do you know, if it was any less than that, you would have to talk to ATC. And then they might give out to you. You have insufficient fuel. What are you talking about? I had loads of fuel, right? So we're now on the... We're just starting to get ourselves lined up here with the inbound track. Now, from me... Uh, from me... Uh, experience, 185 is what the A320 loves. And that's... It depends on the weather. It depends on the weight of the aircraft, so on and so forth. But let's just see if it behaves itself here. I have a feeling we're going to be kind of overshooting the actual hold. So I'll I'll monitor this. If I decrease my speed, what do you think will happen? If I slow down, that holding pattern, what will happen to it? Will it contract or will it expand? My turning circle, if I bring my speed lower, what happens to that turning uh, circle or turning pattern? It gets tighter. It gets smaller. Yeah? I'll be traveling less. It contracts. Right, you get the idea. So if things go wrong and, you know, you're halfway to friggin' Swahili, ah, Jesus, slow it down. Right? Slow it down. So let's see what it's going to do. I'm now in the hold. And I'm hoping we follow this to an exact fix. Airbus reckons I need 190 odd knots. Yeah? So let's see if it's done its own calculation correctly. Murph, where do you find the other holding points on Navigraph charts? So make sure you turn them on, right? Because there's a number of different holds. Now look, see the way we're slightly outside? Ah, Jesus! I know straight away we're not, we're not holding correctly, right? So I'm going to fix that. Let's bring our speed down. So we're going to say one knot of flaps and bring my speed down to 185. And let's see what happens at 185. If you look at the map closely, You'll actually see this little divil get smaller. It contracts based on your speed. So let's keep an eye on what 185 does here, right? Now, the other holes, as I was saying, so they're going to be on your star published holes. If you don't want to look at the star, you can turn them on, go into the layers section on your Navigraph, layers, and come down to the bottom part where it looks like a mixing table, options. Then you want to go to the top, your nav map layers, and then you turn on holding patterns. It'll show them in there for you, yeah? It'll show them in there for you. Is that fair enough? Now, I've reduced my speed. We're still a little bit out, but I reckon it'll fix it now in a moment, right? It should fix it now in a minute. 
What's my speed doing? We're now at 185. Now, according to my little map, I'm in the world's most best hold in the world. I'm ever so slightly out. Now, there's limits to what you're allowed to do. It's also important to note, in Ireland, if we were told to descend in a hold, which could be important, right? Um, if you needed to descend in a hold, the rules in Ireland, you cannot descend or uh, ascend. You can't move vertically more than 1,000 feet per minute. That's important. You can't go massive high up or very low down. So with the wind, it's not like in 185. Chalk this down a little bit. Let's go 180 for the crack. Actually, let's go 175. Let's see what this does. And all I'm looking to do here, it should tighten us in a little bit. Do you know what I mean? So we're very much on the hold still. We're holding in this area. And like, you, ATC, they could stack multiple, multiple aircraft in this. Tons of aircraft. You could have seven, eight or nine aircraft in a hold. More if they stack them correctly. Uh, and they might then say, Jesus, we need another hold. And they'll open up another holding point. You get the idea. You get the idea. All right. So as we're circling here now, we're well established in our hold. It's just fine tuning based on where it is. Um, depends on the weather as well. Now, ATC might jump on the blower to us and say, hey, uh, we want you to exit the hold. Okay, well, be Jane then. Um, <clears throat> sure. So uh, we could report, uh, and I will, uh, Dublin Approach, Firefly 235, holding at Siren, flight level 70. Firefly 235. Exit the hold, continue approach, report overhead, Delta Whiskey 706. Exit the hold, okay. Um, exit the hold and continue approach, report overhead, Delta Whiskey 706 or Firefly 235. Okay, we get to exit the hold. Into our machine, fly plan, here's the hold, and we can either go direct to Sivna or we can say immediate exit from the hold. Exit the hold. And now this should, in theory, line us back up to Saren and it will then lead us on our merry way. See that? See the way this, the hold is no longer continued? It's broken off. Okay? That's what it means by that. So if I go to extend the range, so we're going to go back to Saren and then Sivna. If the instruction was direct Sivna, okay, let's go direct Sivna if we're told. So we go Direct, Sivna, are you sure, uh, direct to insert, our plan will change in front of us, immediate right turn, and we're heading to Sivna. Okay, all is well in the realm. Now, I don't need to go this slow, bring the speed back up, maximum 220 according to my star, and we ramble on. Now, the next trick, let's say for example we are following on this entire hold. Or the, the entire approach. Because ATC have now just told us, right, Murph, give us a shout when you're over Delta Whiskey 706. Okay, I'm going to continue all the way along here. Well, instead of giving an aircraft a hold, they could give you a direct two. A direct two. Meaning, if there was another aircraft behind me, well, if he gives me a direct straight Hello. away, it means that the aircraft behind me, he can, you know, push him right out. Push him right out. So we're now going to simulate a direct two, and there's a bit of jiggery pokery in this. This is off script, but I'm anxious of time. Uh, buttons. Firefly 235, direct LAPMO. Descend altitude 3,000 feet. Contact Dublin Tower. When established on the localizer, on 118.6. Direct LAPMO. Descend altitude 3,000 feet. When established on the localizer, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6, Firefly 235. Okay. Direct. Now, it needs to be LAPMO. There's LAPMO. Dish. Insert. Direct LAPMO. Descend altitude 3,000 feet. Remember, I already have my ATIS information giving me the Q and H. Now, he didn't say, um, ATC did not say, you know, jump off my frequency. No, he didn't. When established, only then do I talk to Dublin Tower. Okay? 
Now, what's going to happen at Dublin Tower is going to be a missed approach. And I'll do this briefly. Jesus, lads. Me timing is all terribly wrong tonight. They're all going to kill me. They're all going to kill me. Where are we at now? Um, maybe they already have. Right. It's going to be a long night for these lads. So we're descending now and we're heading direct lap mode. Now remember, he's accelerated what I need to do. So I need to make sure my aircraft is going to be configured to land. Yeah? Uh, now. Stay ahead of the plane. I uh, had to move connected to Shannon because we dropped off the scope. Okay, right, okay. Jesus. Uh, now, I'll tell you what we're going to do next. Because we know that we're going to be landing, we're now going direct LAPMO. Let's have a look at our approach. So here's LAPMO. Now we need to look at the missed approach. Every time you're doing a landing, study the missed approach. What's going to happen? Missed approach. Climb straight ahead to Gannett. Here's Gannett. At or below altitude 3,000 feet, then turn uh, right, Delta Whiskey 034, and then proceed to the Dublin VOR. Maximum speed, 200 knots. At that stage, we can initiate another approach, or as directed by ATC. All right. For this lesson, we're going to be told, continue uh, or go for another approach. We're going to go for another approach. Okay, so we kind of know what we're doing. So I'm going to wait now until I'm at LAPMO. Uh, now, standard, thank you. Dish. 1014. I can also put on approach mode. So I've armed my glide slope and LOC. Now, let's have a look at our gadget here. So we can see it has LAPMO, Maxiv, and Dublin. And see the blue? Well, that's our missed approach. That's Gannett. DW034 and then Dublin. I can add in the rest of this because at the Dublin VOR, it's, it stops me there because it's expecting ATC to talk to me, right? Now, for this lesson, I know what we're doing next. So I'm going to put in the rest of the routing. So from the Dublin VOR, it will be uh, DW7. No, sorry. DW017. Uh, Pop you in there. Uh, next, after DW017, it's going to be back into LAPMO. L-A-P-M-O. LAPMO. And insert. Okay. So I now know if I need to go missed approach, the aircraft is going to fly me to Gannett, DW034, the Dublin VOR, DW017, and it's going to bring me back to LAPMO. And if I look at my chart here, lads, I've just told it, Take me to here, here, the Dublin VOR, War, DW017, and then back to Lapmo. How cool is this? Now, Dublin Tower. That's Shannon Tower. So we'll be talking to Dublin Tower. So I'm now established. Established. Uh, Dublin Tower, Firefly 235, established on the localizer for 28 left. Firefly 235, Dublin Tower, low surface wind 220 degrees, 4 knots, runway 28 left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 28 left, Firefly 235. Okay, we're looking good. Start bringing the speed down. First notch of flaps, and get ourselves configured for a landing. So I've just got my landing clearance, this is wonderful. I'm, I've, I'm landing, brilliant. So I'm established on the localizer, and I'm just going to wait for our glide slope capture before I'm fully established. Now we're fully established. We have vertical and we have horizontal. We're locked. We're good to go. So the aircraft will look after our altitude and I can manage my speed. Again, I can do this manually or I can put it into managed mode. I've set my auto brake to medium. All my lights are on. Ignition is still on as well. I don't know what's wrong with that, lads. Is that a bug with this latest update? 
Who knows? Who knows? Now, remember, the mist approach said 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet, yeah? Yeah, the glide slope at Dublin and Shannon, they're massive, right? 2,500. 2,500, okay, we're descending nicely. So watch our speed now. Bring the speed down. Let's go for around the 170s. Second notch of flaps. No, a little bit fast. Get the speed down. What's our distance? Six miles. Drop the gear. Increase the drag. Help slow us down. If you have anti-ice on, it shows ignition. Anti-ice is off. Hey, Ali. Good to see you. Yeah, anti-ice was off. Okay, runway's in sight. We're visual. All is looking well. Speed is coming down nicely. More flaps coming into the equation. And all is looking good. Flaps three. And we're going to go full flaps here now in a moment. Spoilers arm. Okay, we're fully configured for a landing. Speed is coming down nicely. And let's monitor what's happening. Now, if we're given a go around, Airbus is a genius. All we need to do, full throttle, flaps tree, gear up. That's it. Full throttle, flaps tree, gear up. Watch what happens. So say for example... Firefly 235, go around, I say again. Go around, acknowledge. Firefly 235, going around. Okay, are we ready? So... I'll explain. Full power, flaps tree, gear up. Go around track is enabled. Watch the speed. That's it. You don't. Yeah, have Firefly two three five standard missed approach. Contact to Dublin approach one two one decimal one. Standard missed approach going to one two one decimal one. Firefly two three five. Okay. And Dublin approach. Firefly two three five. Altitude one thousand eight hundred feet. Climbing to three thousand feet. On the missed approach published uh, towards Gannett. Firefly 235, roger. Continue on the published approach. Contact Dublin Tower on 118.7 when fully established on the ILS. Fly the standard missed approach and we'll contact Dublin Tower when fully established on the ILS uh, on 118.7 for Firefly 235. Okay. So, Tower told me to go around. I've contacted, um, I've contacted Dublin Approach. I've said, hey, this is where I'm at. Okay. And now, if we're looking at it, the aircraft is fully mo uh, managed. It's in go around track. We'll have a look at the plan in here. It will bring us to Gannett, DW034, the Dublin VOR, DW017, and then back to Lapmo. If I have a look at my plan in here, look. I'm now heading towards Gannett. Uh, come back up here, Murph. So have a look at this, look. DW034, Dublin, LAPMO. Now, after LAPMO, we want to go back to Dublin. Right? Gibbo, question. Will that actually work if you're in flaps 3 going up to flap 2? Is it just, fla is it just flaps up one notch? Because I always, I always tend to go flaps 4, medium brake. But if that's the case, well, then you know the crack. If you're in flaps three, go to flaps two. So effectively, you're setting it up one notch. I think that's what Gibbo's telling us. Is your ignition mode set to normal? Yes. But we still have ignition on. Okay, so we're monitoring what's going on here. So basically, what's going to happen, lads, the aircraft is going to follow along this missed approach because I put it in. So Gannett, over to DW, Dublin VOR, and so on and so on. So I fly this, don't need to worry about anyone or anything until I'm re-established on the ILS, 
and then Tower will tell me what the crack is. Yes, just one notch, except if you're unusually on a flap one landing, then you'd stay on flap one as speed is 200 knots. Super. Thank you, Gibbo. Right, so you don't have to be flaps four and have to go flap three. You move to the next flap setting up. Full power, flap up one, gear up, the aircraft automatically goes to Mr. Proach. How freaking handy is that? That doesn't happen in a Boeing, right? That's super handy. We're putting so much trust in the technology, it's scary. Now. So far, so good. Not, not good. Not good, Murph. Airplane was not in heading mode. Sorry, airplane was in heading mode. Hello? See that? We went to heading mode. Just as well I caught it there and then. That could have been hilarious. Uh, ZKM, welcome in, man. Boeing expects the pilot to know what they're doing. Is Microsoft Flights in bugged? Uh, can you be more specific? Boeing expects the pilots to know what they're doing. Listen, right? Boeing makes you work for it. Airbus is like, take your time. All is well. Now here's the thing, right? Let's say, for example, you did do three or four holds and now you've gone missed approach. Well, you're going to have all sorts of stuff saying your fuel is low. In actual fact, my outer tanks are now being transferred, cross-fed into me main tanks. I'm running low on fuel. So you've got to be careful with that, yeah? Every time I load the accessibility settings, always load up. Ooh. I'm not sure, man. You can switch nav mode on in GA in EFB. Nav knack, you absolute ledge. Where do we do that then? Is that under settings? Oh wait, it'd be in, it'd be in, it'd be in, it'd be in. It would be in here, wouldn't it? Airframe callouts, units, controls? No, cabin, no. Airframe modification. Uh, no. Units, no. Callouts, no. Airframe. Is it, it's in here somewhere, is it? That's kind of handy. Okay, that's really handy. Right, so all that's going to happen here is, I don't want to delay time, lads, because I'm very anxious to get to Zal Airborne, because I said the lads are going absolutely nuts. Uh, Rambog, do we know if we have ATC running now? People are showing up on... Stop saying NN... Is that like Shannon? So people are showing up in Shannon, even though you're at Dublin. We can give it a try. Okay. Uh, will I bounce to? That'll fix it. So just to explain what's happening here, lads. The aircraft is now configured. It's doing its go around. It's missed approach, and all that's going to happen. I'm going to talk to Dublin Tower when I'm fully established once again at LAPMO. All going well, I'm going to get my landing clearance and then we're going to land and then we're going to taxi off, okay? Uh, so, what we're going to do, and this is slightly out of the script for uh, the team of controllers that I have, um, I'm going to mosey my way over to Shannon. I'm going to be looking after approach for our pilots flying, right? And we should be grand after that. Right, so I'm going to... We know what we're doing here, lads. Does anyone have any questions before I start moving away from this? Because I want to want to get you guys up and running. We've effectively done a hold at Sauron. And we've demonstrated a full missed approach. Hey, Captain Gaiman, good to see you. It's easier to write NN. I, I was like, what? But yeah, I get it now. I get it now. So does anyone have any questions? This, when you fly tonight, you're not going to do this verbatim. You may get a hold, you may not. You may get a go around, you may not. But the idea here is, you have an idea of what to do. Hopefully, hopefully, right? Does that make sense? We hope so. So, I think we're okay for the lesson part. So all that would have happened, I would have talked to... Well, I can probably still do it. Where's the scope? Do we have aircraft moving yet? Not just yet. Uh, there's me.
Why is there two aircraft with me? Do I have someone following me? Adoran is flying along with us. Okay, Adoran, if you're not on the course, would you mind terribly um, jumping off? Because you're going to create all sorts of confusing questions to ATC because you're thinking, Aha, Jesus! Right. Now, let me see. When the lads are ready, ATC lounge, we can probably start moving group A over. And uh, get the group A lads departed first because they're going to move faster at 250 knots and then the rest of the lads follow then after that. Uh, let's see here now. Okay. What am I might do then? Uh... One second, lads. So the aircraft is following along. As soon as Mr. Proach, we will get reestablished. Remember, we're already at 3,000 feet, so we're at the perfect altitude to capture the ILS. Uh, and then we fly in, right? The only thing I got with my Windows update uh, was that my work had blocked Twitch, so I'm waiting on a Chromebook. Like a savage. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now, as I said, we're going to have Group A and Group B. So when you jump into whatever... Um... Okay, carry on. Okay. Seems okay so far. Carry on. Okay. I'll continue. We'll continue with the landing. Perfect. Now, speed is good. We can go probably a little bit faster if we want to, but we don't need to, you know? Hey, does Higgy, good to see you. Now, again, make sure everything's going to be configured. We're still throwing a bit of flap into the equation. It's all fine. Q and H is already set. We will be talking to Dublin Tower once we get established. And all is looking well in the realm. We're still on Dublin Approach, by the way. We're still talking to Dublin Approach. Because, we're, you know, until we're established, we stay there. Everything that I've said, all the words that I've used, <laughs> all the words, everything I've spoken about, they're all in our online manual. This is available on our website, and you'll see it anywhere from the hold anywhere from the go around and it shows the go around and you you saw me programming in delta whiskey 017 and then lapmo you saw me putting that in because the missed approach will only go as far as the dublin vor because that's where it says proceed to the vor to initiate another approach or as directed okay so what's going to happen now we're following the missed approach we have to call back uh dublin tower when they're established and then Dublin Tower are going to tell us, hopefully we're clear to land, and then we get in and we land. All right? Now, over here as well, uh, Dublin Tower, when we land, if Dublin Tower was just looking after us, we'd stay on Dublin Tower. Remember the top down? If Dublin Ground comes online, don't move until the previous controller has told you to move. All right? So we're now heading straight for Lapmo. Approach mode, go ahead, arm it. And we can see now, glide slope and localizer, they're in the blue, they're armed. So when these start lighting up, then I talk to Dublin Tower. This won't happen on every flight, but if you know how to do both of these procedures, a hold and a missed approach, they are the biggest, most mind-boggling things that might happen on VATSIM because you might genuinely get caught out going crap how do I do this the plan here is well you, you now know how to do it granted with an A320 but the, the Boeings are similar right Dublin Tower Firefly 235 established on the localizer runway 28 left Firefly 235, Dublin Tower, hello again, yeah, surface wind 220 degrees, 4 knots, runway to it left, clear to land. 
Clear to land, runway 28 left, Firefly 235. Sweet, brilliant, excellent news. So now it's all about uh, bringing us in. So we're on approach mode, we're established on the localizer. I think he said fully established, but it's grand. Totally fine. Muse fan is going to love this part. Enzo, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. But remember, lads, the focus tonight, be aware you might be asked to hold. Don't worry too much of getting it nailed down first time. It's the communication you need to focus on. If you're given a missed approach, again, don't worry too much on e executing the perfect missed approach. Get the communication down. That's what we're going to focus on. We can practice all of this again. And if you look at our, look at the screen here, look. The computer has already programmed in another missed approach. But again, it'll only bring us to the Dublin VOR. So if we, need, if we want, I mean, we can go back in here again and start putting in those waypoints. If we had to. I don't need to do it now. I have sufficient time. You saw, the, you saw how long that circuit took. I have loads of time, yeah? So let's have a look here now. Uh, speed, let's go back into manual. We're fully established. Bring the speed down and let's see what's going to happen. I am on a seven mile final for 2.8 left. Regarding nav and GA mode, you can find it in the airline modifiable information part in the EFB. That's what I was looking for. So the air airline modification. Oh, brilliant. So we're going to say here uh, TCAS now, nav in go around. There you go. Does that basically mean then flaps gear down? Does that basically mean then when I go into that go around, it won't go into heading mode? I think that's what you mean, yeah? So here's a bit of drag coming in. I need to get the speed down more. I'm going flaps four for landing. Well, flaps three at the minute. Thank you, Navnak. Super information. Thank you. If, if you don't do that, just remember, put the thing into nav mode. <laughs> okay, speed looking good. Full flaps. Speed is looking good. Everything here is looking good. Now, again, we're staying ahead of the aircraft. What happens when we land? Well, we're going to be landing on 28 left. Let's have a look at the exits. Unlikely we're going to make Sierra 3. Unlikely we're going to do Sierra 4 because it's too sharp. It's going to be Sierra 5. I'm expecting Sierra 5. Am I parking this evening? I need to get over to where the West Apron is. So we'll probably get Sierra, Whiskey 2 and West Apron. Right? That's what I'm hoping. Thanks, Gibbo. Message received, my dude. Okay, my airplane. Auto throttle. Good luck to you. Autopilot. Good luck to you. Cancel, 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 cancel. My airplane. Mother of Jesus. Here we go. Will he do it? Won't he do it? The Pappy are happy. And so is the M50. Oh, wait. The M1. Right, here we go. Hey, Irish Gav, good to see you. Minimum. Minimums, landing. Now remember, your decision height, if you couldn't see the runway at that altitude, you do a go around. 200. 200. 100. Easy. Easy. Touchdown. Versus out. Spoilers out. There's D cell. Eighty knots. Reverse is stowed. Flaps in. And auto break off. Spoilers in. Firefly 235, vacate right and right Sierra. Vacate right and right Sierra, Firefly 235. There's Sierra 5, exactly where we wanted to go. That needs about a minute. And Firefly 235, vacated the runway at Sierra 5. Request taxi to West Apron. 
Firefly 235, Taxi Sierra, Whiskey 2, into the West Apron, stand of choice. Good evening. Taxi Sierra, Whiskey 2, into the West Apron, stand of choice. Firefly 235, thank you very much. Okay, we start taxiing. So he gave us, he gave us what we planned. Sierra, Whiskey 2, West Apron, stand of choice. We can park anywhere we want in there. At this stage, ATC has been brilliant. So, uh, Transponder, TA, auto brake off. Strobes off, APU up and running. Landing lights are off, taxi lights leave them on. And we make our merry way down to the taxi. That was a full demo of takeoff, a hold, a go around and then a landing but ATC covered the apart from the little bit in the middle ATC was there the whole way right so as I said I know just people starting to get ready now getting off the ground at Shannon I'll be jumping onto approach shortly and um, our plan is we're going to get you straight into Dublin with no drama whatsoever however if you're asked to do a hold well, for tonight's lesson, the hold will be active at Sorin. If you're going to get a missed approach, again, the missed approach will be call back when established. So just give it another go. Is this a custom airport? I'm using MK Scenery's uh, Dublin Airport version 2. Yes, it's very good. But again, if you're on VATSIM and you don't have the up-to-date scenery, if you don't have the new runways... Um, that's okay, you just tell them. Because they might say, yeah, we're departing runway 28 right. And you're like, eh, I don't have a 28 right. Just tell the controller and all will be well. Yeah? So we're taxiing along here. Watch your speed, Marv. 25 is about the fastest you want to go. It's going to be left here on Whiskey 2. And then we'll just pick our stand of choice inside there. I better turn off GSX. There we go. Now I don't need to report back to the ATC because he's already said stand of choice. Well, that's it. I'm done. Now I could, if it's quiet, I can jump back on and say, "Listen, thank you so much for that. Great service." Or you know what I mean? No one's going to give out to you for that. But common sense prevails. If it's very, very busy and other aircraft are trying to get in and out of the place, there's no point taking up time on the airwaves. You know. Okay, so we'll get in somewhere handy. Should we go for 617? Look. Jesus, I nearly binned it. Now, will this, will this VDLC turn on? Come on, VDLC. You're great crack. Let's be having you. Jesus, it was working and then it wasn't. Sometimes, oh, there we go. Wait. Yeah, I'll wait so. Right, now. Approach. Yes, yes. We're moving forward. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All is looking well. We're getting very close to you there, Chief. It's kind of drunk. Right. Park and brake on. APU is running. Bleeds are on. Engines off. Transponder off. And all our lights... Now come off. Runway turn off. Taxi light is off. Uh, beacon light can come off as the aircraft deboard. Right, lads. That was a flight start to finish. Are we happy enough? Now, friends. Lads, do I need to jump over to Shannon? Is that what you told me? Are we happy enough? Brilliant. All good here. You can do it a full taxi. Right, I think I need to jump to Shannon. That's what the lads are telling me. Salute to Shannon. Right, we'll go to Shannon. Ah, this is terrible crack. Uh, Shannon. We're going to Shannon. The place in the sun. Where's the gadget? Uh, where can I park in Shannon, actually? Can I park over there? I'll park over here. At zero altitude. On the ground. Let's go! Right. Shannon is as good a place as any. Great crack. Right, so we're going to have people departing Shannon here now in a moment. And uh, Dublin Approach is now active. And remember, Dublin Approach will be talking to you, uh, or you'll be talking to Dublin Approach at the Oscar uh, waypoint. 
Okay, now airplane. Where are you? Let's get me ground stuff here because I don't want to run out of power. So Phoenix, ground services. Give me the GPU. Uh, cones are already there. Give me the stairs and give me the doors. Excellent. Engines are off. Yes. APU. Get rid of the APU. And this will all calm the whole shebang down. Yeah. So here's our aircraft. Let's zoom in. And while I'm waiting, let's jump in on ground and have a listen for a moment, will we, lads? Let's have a listen. Firefly 007 at stand 28 request. Push and start. Brilliant! Firefly 007, push and start. Approved. Face east. QNH 1014 hectopascals. Push and start approved. Face east. QNH 1014 hectopascals. Firefly 007. Firefly 702, off stand 37, request taxi. Firefly 702, taxi the apron, Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, hold short runway 24. Taxi Delta 1, Delta 2, uh, Charlie, hold short for runway 24. Firefly 206, off stand 25, request taxi. Firefly 206, taxi Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, hold short runway 24. Taxi Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, hold short runway 24. Firefly. So what I'm doing here, lads, this is looking at the scope. This is showing you what ATC actually see, right? Dougal, have you been drinking? I have, Ted. Like a mad idiot. Like just... So <laughs> this is showing, this is what ATC, or this is what they can see, essentially, right? Uh, which is which is brilliant. We, it was brilliant, right? So there's a couple of alerts coming in. The controller's looking after things at the moment. Well, on ground, we have Rambog Mord. Gibbo is going to be looking after Tower. Uh, and then the lads are going to get their taxi clearances, all right? Um, which is all beautiful. It's all beautiful. After they take off, Gibbo's going to give them the same crack he gave me, as in, um, you know, advise when passing altitude 2,000 feet, yeah? And then we're going to get over to, uh, let me see, what's the uh, what's the weather here in Shannon? That's going to load in there nicely. And then we're going to get to this view here. And this is going to be, um, you'll see the departing aircraft. Now, if we have a look at Dublin, this is what the radar looks like on Dublin. Now, we're limited because we don't have the, the new runways. VATAIR used them for real controllers. We're using an observer pack, right? VATAIR, this are your great crack. Will you give us access to the thing? Uh, and then my viewpoint lands. And <laughs> This is my viewpoint. And this is what I'm going to be looking at, right? So what I can do here, I'm going to, I want to be able to see the lads on the approach. So uh, let me see here now. If I go to uh, display and I want to see the stars and I want to see Dublin for 28 left. And I'm going to apply and click OK. So I'm going to see the lads talking at Oscar. Here's Oscar on my scope, right? So when I see aircraft coming in on my scope, I don't see anyone yet. When I see them on Oscar, they're mine. They go Dirham, they go Kepor, Avrock. There's Sorin. And if I need to hold them at Sorin, I'll hold them. Otherwise, they're going to go up by Sivna, Sugud, then Delta Whiskey 704, 705, and 706. At that stage, they're going to ramble over to Pisa. Now, where are the stars? Can I show approaches? I don't think so. So I could probably show, if I could see the approach, I'll tell them, hey, go direct now, Lapmo. So we'll see them on Lapmo. And then they're going to be flying in. Mark Burton, thank you very much indeed. V Skycheck says, just joined your Discord, looking forward to this. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. It's, it's probably a lot to take in, but I'm hoping that you're learning something from it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's loads of tutorials online if you want to really hunker down and get the, uh, you know, the the different skills, if you want, uh, when it comes to holding and missed approaches. But we're trying to encompass all of this now into your communication, into your communication, all right? So this is my scope. There's no one next or near me now for a while, but we'll have some soon, right? Because um, I can see all these dots here, yeah? Well, these are little planes, look. Right? And if I look at the Shannon scope, so here's aircraft starting to do some stuff here now. 
Now that's coming up as a, as a warning, runway incursion, because the lads need to update them, right? Now I do need to ask the lads, lads, are we assuming aircraft? I take it we are. So this is Euroscope, and okay, the guys in America use a slightly different program, but this is the ATC uh, radar. Isn't it kind of cool? That's what they see. They don't see what we see. They're looking purely at this. Kind of mad, isn't it? Do you know? So let's listen in again. Uh, yeah, I got you in, uh, in sequence here. We just got a traffic jam behind you. Traffic jam, they say. Okay, so Corn Wolf is now departing, right? So let's jump on over to uh, Dublin Our Tower. So Dublin Tower uh, just gave clearance to that aircraft, which is Corn Wolf, and he is Firefly 807. So Firefly 807 is going to be my very first pilot. Victim. No, pilot. Pilot for this evening. For this evening, right? So, uh, yeah. We have a bit of a traffic jam. We're okay. So we should have another aircraft lined up there now as well. We do, we do. So you can see the crack, right? Shannon Tower, Firefly 206, holding short runway 24 at Charlie. Firefly 206, Shannon Tower, good evening. Runway 24, line up and wait. Runway 24, line up and wait, Firefly 206. Pretty cool, right? Firefly uh, 807, passing altitude 2,000 feet for flight level 9,000. Or nine or zero. Well, Firefly 807, no further ATC is available. Uh, monitor Unicom on 122 decimal 8. Bye bye. Monitor Unicom on 122 decimal 8, Firefly 807. Thank you, sir. Okay. So there's Firefly 807. He's going to be mine. So he's going to be my first aircraft in. Firefly 807. Okay. Now, what's important here is, as I said, he's my first aircraft to control. So I'm going to keep an eye on him. I can see, look, Flight level 9 or 0, he wants request flight level 150, and he's on the Oscar 3 Lima. That might be a little bit hard to see that, but he's on the Oscar 3 Lima, all right? So I'm going to track him now, because he's going to fly up my direction. And when he gets to Oscar, well, that's when he needs to talk to me. If he doesn't talk to me, well, then I'm going to talk to him. You know what I mean? That's how we do that, all right? That's how we do that. A Firefly 206. Report when passing altitude 2,000 feet, winds 220 at 4 knots, runway 24, cleared for takeoff. Report when passing altitude 2,000 feet, runway 24, cleared for takeoff, Firefly 206. So there's the second departure. So you can see kind of how they start moving. And this is done, like, it's, it's, the Vatsum guys, a different level, right? But it, it's, it's essentially the same. This is essentially the same, yeah? Now, I better check in. Is everyone all right on the ground? Are we all right on the ground? Let's have a listen. Yeah, they're moving there now. So we can see the lads starting to taxi. Look at this, lads. In this class. 55003 waiting for pushback uh, behind the 737. Yeah, Firefly 003, just uh, hold position there for now. You got company right behind you. Holding. 55003. That's okay, he can't move. The controller can't move that aircraft because he's got another aircraft right behind him. Not, you know, that's an interesting livery. Uh, but you know what I mean? Model matching in the sim. You gotta love it, right? So we're gonna get these guys moving. Just remember your spacing. Lads, if you fly too close to one another, I will give you a hold. Just remember that, right? Well, brilliant! Do you know? Uh, right, I better jump over to Owl Approach. Ah, yes. This is where I live. I'm in the approach zone now. Man, Murph, you're doing a great job already. Ah, thanks, lads. Oh, wait, well, I'm pressing buttons you can't see. Uh, right, now, yes, yes, yes. So here's Firefly 807. Uh, here's Firefly 206. I'm going to grab him as well. So let me see. Uh, Firefly 206 requested flight level is 210. It needs to be 150, lads. Remember, maximum speed is 250 knots. Maximum altitude for the flight is is 150 flight level 150 just for this lesson just for the lesson there's method to me madness right will you see or see in the us yeah 
So yeah, we got a bit of time before Oscar gets in. Anyone have any questions over the last kind of two hours or so? <laughs> right? That took me two hours. Uh, you have no tower view. Okay. Do you want me to jump in? Bum, 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 bum. So there's three aircraft now going to be holding short. They're all going to be talking to Gibbo. There's a fourth aircraft on the way. And then it looks like we have another one, two, three, four aircraft after that. So far, so good, right? And all the while, these lads are talking to our own uh, ATC. Corn Wolf is on the way. Brilliant. What's your normal separation? It's about three minutes. About three minutes. Now, let's see. Just need to kill the same quick. That's okay. So Rambog is doing the thing. And again, this is the... I won't say there's limitations with us, right? But what we have, what Rambog has managed to build here, this gives us Xbox pilots on, we're on our own network. And the idea of this, lads, all we're trying to do is give folks the confidence. Because we know you know how to do it. You just need some of the, you know what I mean? Some of the technical aspects. Once you've kind of cracked those down, getting the voice procedure right, and you start practicing that, that gives you a very solid foundation to go off and actually try this on VATSIM. That's the idea. Because when you get to fly on VATSIM, I'm telling you, it's a great enhancement to your sim. It is the next level to fly on VATSIM. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore our group flights. But over the last kind of four years, I mean, this is the usual transition. You pick up the sim, you're like, hey, I kind of like this. I want to dig my toes in a little bit deeper. And granted, okay, we're using, a lot of people are using airliners. We also have GA in this. The reason airliners are more suited, well, one, they're more popular, but B, or two, um, depending on the weather, airliners are way more capable in bad weather than your general aviation aircraft. A Cessna 172 can't take any more than 26 knots crosswind. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. We'll go back to the scope here then and have a little gawk. Things will get busy now shortly. Don't you worry. So, uh Here's me first two inbound. And look at the spacing. So I have this set to one minute. There's two minutes. There's three minutes. So there's that's, that should be showing me three minutes spacing between them. So they're fairly good, yeah? But just remember, lads, if for whatever reason you bunch up, I will have to give you some sort of a delay. And I have options. As approach, as I said, I can put you in a holding pattern or I might give you a direct two. And that's going to help speed up the process. Yeah? So more than likely, see 807, Firefly 807, more than likely that, that aircraft is going to get a direct to at some stage. More than likely. If I don't, well then Firefly 206, he might get a hold. The main thing we're showing here, you understand what ATC are trying to manage, what they're trying to stay on top of. And that's the reason why you might get a hold. If they didn't do the hold, you would most certainly get a go around or missed approach because it's too close. They can't get the aircraft in quick enough. All right. So here's another one. Firefly 007. The name's Muse. No, wait. The name's Fan. Muse Fan. Right. Brilliant. Firefly 007. We charge him 20 quid and a pint of Guinness for that call sign. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, right. So. Every single lesson that we've done so far, all the videos, everything's there, right? Um, from start to finish, including the VFR stuff we did last year. There is a wealth, wealth of knowledge, tons of knowledge, right? So uh, if you want to start from scratch, you absolutely can. You know, look at this now. See this three minute spacing? Not very three minutes, is it? Oh, jeez. So one aircraft is at 150 knots in an A320. You need to speed her up there, Betsy. And then the other one is at 190. Actually, if I can put on the display settings for the uh, the SID out of Shannon uh, 2.4. Yeah, here they go here, look. So you can see them on the uh, standard instrument departure. And there's Firefly 007 going up behind them. So far, so good. They're doing a great job, though, aren't they? There's another departure. There's a Dougal. This is brilliant. 
Uh, okay to load group B in, question mark. Or group B in it? Look. I'm probably getting ahead of myself, but we get the idea, right? Uh, and don't forget, lads, like, try and just watch as many, um, try to watch as many kind of online tutorials as you can and always listen in observer mode on VATSIM. They can't see you. They can't hear, well, they can hear you if you talk to them. But they can't see you. If you load into Vatsim in, in observer mode, you can do what you like. They can't see you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, okay, by me. So we're just looking at Rambog. So, so far, so good. Now, we'll jump into one of the other chats because no one's going to talk to me just yet. Let's have a listen to uh, Dublin Tower here. Are there ATC available? Monitor Unicom on 122.8. Bye bye. Monitor Unicom on 122.8. Uh, bye bye. A Firefly 112. Uh, report when passing altitude 2000 feet. Winds 220 at 4 knots. Runway 24. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Runway 24. Will report passing 2000 feet. Firefly 112. And just remember, lads, start and finish. You got to read back your call sign, the instruction. Try and focus on the read back part. That's terribly, terribly important. Terribly important. Cannon Tower, Firefly 305, holding short runway 24. Firefly 305, after departing 8320, runway 24, line up and wait. After the depart in A320, line up and wait, runway 24, Firefly 305. Now you might be saying, Murph, he said he said runway 24, not runway 24. In Europe, we go 24. If we were in America, we'd say 24. Just, just to be aware of that. If that makes sense. It should make sense. Okay, so I can visually see the aircraft going out. There's Muse, there's Machine, there's Dougal. Beautiful departure. Look at that. Right. So the lads are on their, their SIDs heading out of here. So I'm going to jump back over. Here's me scope. And we can see now uh, we have 807 and we have 206. Now, is he at 150 knots? You want to speed it up there a little bit. 250 is what we're after. Here's Firefly 207. Here's Firefly 702. And here's Firefly 112. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five aircraft. Five aircraft. Okay, I will now jump into the lounge and let them know. And Group B, when you're ready, you guys can load on in. Southeast Asian server and grab your ATIS and then you can contact Shannon Ground. I hope they heard me. That's the ATC lounge, lads. Roger Wilco. I got a Roger Wilco. Ah, brilliant. Now, I better go to uh, approach. Right, I live here now. Gibba has such a soothing voice. Jesus, then it's lovely, isn't it? All In all communication, confirmations are very important. Yes, 100%. Like, Gibbo needs a bit of a soundtrack when he's doing controlling. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it just played in the background, you know, just uh, Dublin. Oh, no, wait, he's Shannon Tower. Shannon Tower. Wins 220, four knots. Runway 24, clear takeoff. Right, do you know? He just has. Brilliant. Now, um, right. How are we getting on now? There's loads of departures happening and then I'm going to have to talk to loads of people. Jesus then, I better bring up my script so I know what to say. Huh? This is important, lads. I can't make a mess of this. Okay. This is going to be interesting. This is all exciting now. The workload is going to pick up. Gibbo's like, ah, Jesus! Right? Some say he controls in the nip. That's hilarious. Firefly 007, Mr. Hemingbird. Ah, that's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> Look at the thing. 
Bring, oh, Jesus, hang on. Hello. As Adam the Elder would say, hello. <laughs> Brilliant. So the overhead burr at the minute. Jesus, I'm going to get extremely busy now in a minute. This, what have I done? What have I done? Right, now, here they are, lads. We're racking and stacking. Well, I haven't done nothing yet. Clear to join the Mile High Club. Right? <laughs> Fantastic. That's brilliant. Mr. Hemingbird. I love that, lads. That's hilarious. That had to have been Gibbo. <laughs> that was definitely Gibbo. Brilliant. Right. Now, I'm going to write down the lads here. Well, I don't need to write them down. I can tell them what they're doing. Uh, now, what's this? Can I... Oh, Jesus, no. What's the... Oh, I've no um, status. Hmm. I've no status, look. This is new to me. Right, it's grand. Totally fine. So I've aircraft approaching Oscar. That's the waypoint. At Oscar, they will start talking to me. Brilliant. So we have 807. We have 206. Just remember, lads, they might, someone might get a direct too. So they might get clear for the approach and then I might shout them, go direct or direct to lap mode descend 3,000 feet. Contact tower when you're in. Now, what's Dublin tower frequency? 118.6. 118 decimal six. DW tower. And what's so cool about all of this, what's so cool about all of this, it changes from region to region. You hear the different accents. You hear all the different procedures. It's class. It really is class. Do you know? So, uh, so far so good, lads, right? So far so good. So the first, here they go, the Congo line. Lads, if we even had this many people flying on VATSIM, this is going to be such an achievement for our community. Like, it really is. It's going to be friggin' massive. Brilliant. Now, has anyone given out to me? Not yet. Ah, brilliant. Uh, buttons, Murph. Oh, I need to turn up my microphone as well. They won't hear me. Right, how's that? Am I too loud now? I shouldn't be. I'm probably louder. But I can bring it... Yeah, okay, right. I'll play with the slider here beside me, lads. How's that? What's that, Mr. Hemingford? That's so funny. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six aircraft currently on the move. One, two, three, four, five, six aircraft currently on the move. Okay. Now remember, lads, tune into the Dublin ATIS on your way so you have the correct information. Dublin ATIS information, current is uniform. The old biro and a bit of... Um... Enzo, this is our own network, would you believe? Our own network. Bit of paper and a note and a pen. Highly, highly important. Okay, so he's about to hit Oscar. Dublin approach, Firefly 807, overhead Oscar, flight level 150 with information uniform. Firefly 807, Dublin approach, good evening. Identified, cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left. Oscar 3 Lima. Cleared for ILS approach, runway 28 left. The Oscar 3 Lima, Firefly 807. Perfecto. He's good. He's doing well. Here's Firefly 301. Oh, look at this. Isn't it brilliant? This is what ATC does, look. I should have, like, different glasses. Or maybe a scarf. Glass of brandy and a moustache. Right, do you know? Brilliant. Will he get a go around? Will he get a hold? <laughs> Tune in next week, right? Hun me, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Now, is Dublin Tower up yet? Uh, we're going to need you now there in a few minutes, Dublin Tower. <laughs> As Murphy's typing. I'll do this so I know who's been cleared, look. Do y'all have Discord? We do! Exclamation point Discord will bring you in. I think we're going okay. How are we finding it so far this evening, lads? Are we alright? As I said, like, this is... It's, 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 this stuff may not be for everyone. I'm totally sound with that. 
Uh, but those who are interested in it, I'm really hoping that you're finding it helpful. Um, and, and look, it, it's all about the safe environment. That's our community as well. You know what I mean? Look at this for space and ah, Jesus. Rambog and Gibbo, you are a credit to your creators. Look at this. Look at the state of this. Brilliant. Now, we need to be careful. I, you, you know, you're cleared for the approach. You're not allowed descend. You're not allowed descend. Bum, 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 bum. So let's see what happens now with 807. Do, 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 do. Now, let's see. It is pretty cool, isn't it? It's mad. It's mad, lads. It's mad. Now, it's nice and quiet until, you know, someone else jumps in. How lads manage to stream and control at the same time and have music playing? Uh, what? Nuts. So, Firefly206 is going to call us soon now as well. 007, close. 702, close. Spacing is good, though. Uh, Firefly206, you need to be talking to me straight away. Dublin approach Firefly zero zero seven is at twenty thousand feet, descending for flight level one six zero, approaching Oscar uh, IFR for Dublin. Firefly zero zero seven Dublin approach, Roger. Um, call me back when overhead Oscar. We'll call overhead Oscar Firefly zero zero seven. Firefly 206, um, Dublin Approach. Dublin Approach, Firefly 206, uh, five miles past Oscar, flight level 150, descending flight level 70, with information uh, uniform, Firefly 206. Firefly 206, identified. Maintain flight level 150. You are cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, on the Oscar 3 Lima arrival. Maintain flight level 150. Cleared for the ILS, runway 28 left. And say again, arrival for uh, Firefly 206. Uh, you have filed for the Oscar 3 Lima arrival. Oscar 3 Lima arrival, Firefly 206. Okay, now everyone who's here in the chat, we're not here to scald people, but if you find any issues or mistakes, well, let's start figuring out now what went wrong. So 206 started descending after he entered my zone. You can't do that. You need to talk to me before you come in here and any sort of, um, he can request, can I change altitude? If you wanted to have different altitudes... Flyby, fly 007 is over Oscar at flight level 150. So if you wanted to send before that, you do it when you're on Unicom or whatever. You know what I mean? Firefly 007, Dublin approach, identified. Cleared for the ILS, runway 28 left on the Oscar 3 Lima arrival. Cleared for ILS approach, runway 2 at left on the Oscar 3 Lima arrival, Firefly 007. And Firefly 007, maintain altitude 150. Currently at 140. We'll climb back to 150. Firefly 007. Good man yourself. <laughs> so remember. <laughs> Yeah, 150, lads. That's why we don't want you going higher or lower. It's 150. Firefly 807. Was that a message for myself? Uh, Firefly 807, negative. Continue your approach. Thank you, sir. Now, lads, you haven't been given permission to descend altitude. You were told continue your approach. Do not change your altitude. If you arrive in at flight level 150, you stay at 150. I'll tell you to go higher or lower, all right? Because if you're descending 
Uh, you're doing so without permission. Firefly 807, Dublin Approach. Firefly 807? Firefly 807, direct Lapmo, descend altitude 3,000 feet, and contact Dublin Tower on 118.7 when established on the localizer. Direct to Lapmo and contact, uh, descend to 3,000 feet and contact Tower on 118.7. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right. Don't worry too much, but, you know. Why is Muse given out? Established on the ILS. No, you can be established on the localizer. <laughs> you could be fully established. Listen to what they're saying. Muse, you're going to, you could get both. Do you know what I mean? They could tell you fully established. They could say when you're established on the localizer. Do you know what I mean? Right. So 807, he's on his way now to Latmo. And at that stage, then, he's going to jump over, uh, once he's established, he's going to jump over to Dublin Tower. What did I say? 118.7. And Firefly 807, my mistake, it's Dublin Tower on 118.6. Uh, Firefly 807, that's the tower on 118.6. Thank you very much, sir. Days is I'm out of a job already. Aha, <laughs> brilliant. Right, how are we looking here now? Look. So we have 007 and we have 206. And now we're going to have uh, 807 moving across, look. So remember your spacing. Remember your spacing. Remember your training. Double M approach, Firefly 702, overhead Oscar at flight level 150, information uh, uniform. Firefly 702, double approach, identified. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left on the Asuka 3 Lima. Cleared for the ILS approach on runway 28 left, uh, Firefly 702. I'm hearing myself twice now. So you have to turn down the stream when you're talking to me, otherwise you'll hear me twice. And I don't mean in stereo, it'd be horrendously bad. It's going to give you nightmares, lads. Right? Jesus. Oh, good man, Joshio. Nice. Right, how are we getting on now? Who's in charge? Don't forget the... Oh, yeah. Firefly 007, Dublin Approach. Dublin Approach, go ahead. Firefly 007. Firefly 007, descend flight level 70, join the published hold at Sorin. Descend to flight level 070, will join the published approach, uh, correction, the published hold at Sorin, Firefly 007. <laughs> Brilliant. Victim number one. Uh, no case says Murph, so what speed and flight levels published for the chart for Oscar 3 Lima used for? They're, they're constraints, yeah, they're constraints. So I'll give other people the sense in a while. They don't need them just yet. So I could say descend. This is an American thing, but you could say descend via the star, you know, but it tends, it's, it's, it tends to be a little bit different. I can see their altitudes at the moment. At Durham, they're quite okay. Uh, bearing in mind, I've just descended Muse down to seven. So this is where the different altitudes are going to start coming in. All right. So watch this one, for example. Firefly 702, double approach. Firefly 702, please repeat. Firefly 702, descend flight level 90. Descend and maintain flight level 90, Firefly 702. And that's how you change it. So we'll, we'll, we'll give plenty of space between everyone. Do you know what I mean? Approach. Good evening, Firefly 112 overhead, uh, Oscar flight level 150. Firefly 112, Dublin Approach. Good evening. Identified. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima. Cleared for the ILS 28 left approach via the Oscar 3 Lima arrival, Firefly 112. It's very busy all of a sudden. Now, where is he? 807 is going to be talking soon. 206 is moving up the road. 007 is going to get a hold. 
702 is going to ramble on. 112 is inbound. Uh, 305 hasn't talked to me yet. And 301 is on the way. Any more departures coming out of Shannon yet? I think we're okay for the moment. Firebird, good to see you. I didn't know you're a Vatsim controller. Is it a new add-on to your arsenal? I'm absolutely not. I'm not a Vatsim controller. Absolutely not. I could, like. I know enough about controlling to know I know nothing about controlling, right? I've studied a lot and I'm trying to... It's a square peg round hole situation, you know? Dublin approach, far fly 305, overhead Oscar, flight level 140, information uniform. <gasps> 140, he should be at 15, but that's okay. Firefly 305, Dublin approach, identified. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Firefly 305. Now, see, these lads are really, really close. So there's going to be a bit of crack here. Someone's going to get another hold. Ah, brilliant. Where is the other guy? Is he gone? Did he land? He did. All right, okay, one down. One down, brilliant. <laughs> so Firefly 007 is going to enter the hold. 702 is doing okay. Firefly 112 is doing okay. Firefly 702, Dublin approach. Firefly 702, standing by. Firefly 702, direct LAPMO, descend altitude 3,000 feet, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6 when established on the localizer. Direct to Lapmo, descent and maintain 3000, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6 when established on the localizer. Here we go. No, we're okay. We're okay. We're still moving. So we have 007. We now have 702 moving ahead. 112 is coming in and 305 is a little bit close. But we're okay. We'll fix that now in a moment. 807 has gone. 807 has transferred now to Dublin Tower. 807 is now in Dublin Tower. If we have a quick look. Uh, that's him there. I never released him. Should that matter? Who knows, Murph? Who knows? I think I released him. Yeah, I already released him. Okay, so far so good. All right, here's Muse. On oh, Muse, you devil! He's descending. He needs to get down to 7,000 or flight level 70. Silly question, I'm sure. But what does it mean to go a hold when you're in the air? What does it mean to go on a hold when you're in the air? So you're holding in a certain area. You're, you're staying put. You're holding them. You often hear them. Um, oh, what's the word? Effectively, what they're doing, Hemingbird. They're no longer continuing on their approach, yeah? Because we, we can't facilitate their approach. So when we say we put you in a hold, they have these published holding points. So Muse is now going to circle around this holding Dublin point. Uh, Dublin approach, uh, Firefly 702. Firefly 702, go ahead. Um, you just sent me direct to Lopmo. Um, that's going to be a steep turn if I need to turn to the, run to the runway. It should be quite okay. Once you're established the on the localizer, you should be okay. Uh, your speed will help you along there. Okay, we'll see. 807. Oh, wait, did he go off? And now he's back on. So if you're coming in from Kepor, you're coming in... Oh, Jesus. If you're coming in from Kepor, right? Kepor and then Lapmo. Like, what's what's Lapmo in, in range, lads? So, Lapmo from the runway is... Anyone get me a range on that? Have we a range on, on this gadget? Can we range that? Lapmo in is what? Five miles? Give or take five miles. 
Dublin approach, Firefly 112, request descent, please. Do, 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 do. One second out. That was Firefly 112, wasn't it? What in the name of Jay's going on with my scope? Why is everyone doubled up on me? Uh, Firefly 0, or Firefly 112. Firefly 112, descend flight level 9 or 0. Descend and maintain 9 zero, Firefly 112. Firefly 206, request descent. Uh, where is 206? 206. Firefly 206, descend flight level 70. Descend flight level 70, Firefly 206. Now, what's this? Throw over the tower. Okay, so 206 is inbound, right? He's descending. Dublin approach, Firefly 301, good evening. Uh, overhead, Osgar at flight level 150. Firefly 301, Dublin approach, identified. Clear for the ILS approach, runway 28 left. Oscar 3, Lima. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left via Oscar 3 Lima, Firefly 301. Do do do. There's other stuff appearing on my scope that I don't know what it is, but sure, listen, it's grand, lads. It's grand. ADC, great advantage to know how to manage speed and descent. Yeah. Lapmo is about 12 miles. Yeah. There's loads of room. Loads and loads of room at Lapmo. So if you think you're going too fast, um, slow it down, and you will be fine. Now, what was Dougal? 9, and what was 305? He's 14, so he's actually higher than him. Firefly 305, Dublin approach. Firefly 305, go ahead. Firefly 305, descend flight level 9 or 0. Join the hold at Sarin. Descend flight level 90 and join the hold at Soren, Firefly 305. So we have to do that because he's a little bit too close, yeah? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to land. Brilliant. So Muse is currently in the hold doing a great job. Now, I'm going to park him there for a minute. Uh, Firefly 702, very, very close now to Latmo. He's going to be heading in. 206 is going to be next. He's to give me a shout. Well, he's over DW06. Uh, Firefly 206, Dublin Approach. Firefly 206, pause your message. Report when overhead, Pisa. Descend flight level 3,000 feet. Flight level 3,000? Descend 3,000 feet and report overhead, Pisa. Firefly 206. See, even I make mistakes. Right, let's see if we can get 702 on the ground. You can do it! You can do it, Guan. We have all faith in you, 702. I think you'll make it. Oh, Jesus, I hope he does. If he doesn't, I'll have to start sending letters out. Uh, right, now, Dougal's getting on grand. Uh, this guy's going to enter the hold. Muse is at 7,000 feet in the hold. Uh, Firefly 007, Dublin Approach. Dublin approach, go ahead. Expect a exit of the hold in the next five minutes. I'll call you back. We'll expect exit in five minutes. Firefly 007. Uh, Dougal, you can use the speed constraints. Yes, you can use your speed constraints. 100%. Uh, when programming in the star in the G1000, not to use VNAV as it uses published flight levels. Yes, ATC override everything <laughs> atc will tell you different altitudes so you you don't descend or ascend without atc telling you if that makes sense lads 
And that's why I'm giving you odd altitudes. I'm giving you weird stuff because you're you're like, I need to descend. My chart says I must be at this. ATC is going to tell you. Now, you've already listened to what Dougal and a few of the other lads said. They, ju they jumped on the blower and said, hey, can I descend now, please? Of course you can. Or we might say, no, it's up to ATC to control that. But that's a vital lesson because a lot of people will start to send it and then ATC are like, where is he going? Do you know what I mean? That's the idea. So now we have two lads in the hold. Haha, <laughs> brilliant! There goes Dougal. So he's continuing on as normal. So we have three, 305. There's 2,000 feet between them. I'm not overly worried. So they're probably looking at each other, you know. Where are you going? Shut up, where are you going? But there's 2,000 feet between them. They're quite okay. VNAV is rarely, rarely uh, relevant in real life. Uh, you can rarely, or you can, rarely you can simply do Last the continuous. 206, overhead, peace out. Good man, 206. And Firefly 206. When established on the localizer, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6. When established on the localizer, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6. See you. Firefly 206. Brilliant. So 206, no longer mine. He's going to be talking once he gets to Latmo. It looks like 702 is getting in okay. Uh, Dougal is now on his way. And I have Muse and I have... Uh, and I have 303. A streeter is there as well. Firefly 007, Dublin Approach. Dublin Approach, go ahead. Firefly 007, descend now. Altitude 3,000 feet. Direct Latmo. Contact Dublin Tower when established on the localizer on 118.6. Descend to 3000, proceed direct to Latmo, will contact Tower when established on the localizer at 118.7, Firefly 007. And small correction, it's Dublin 118.6. Dublin 118.6, Firefly 007. Brilliant. Okay, so 206, just about to get established. Dublin Tower are taking the lads in. Any order of departures? Yes, we have. So here's a few. 003 is inbound. Uh, 406 is inbound. Uh, Dublin Approach, Firefly 702, uh, going around according procedure. That's getting interesting. Where is he? 702 is mine again. Firefly 702. Roger. Um, call you back. Get your wordage right, Murph. Uh, Firefly 702. Roger, continue. Missed approach. Report when overhead. Delta Whiskey 107. Continue, Mr. Approach. Um, we'll... Uh, we'll uh, Sorry, uh, I will report when I'm about uh, Delta Whiskey 07. Uh, Firefly 702, uh, thanks. It's Delta Whiskey 107. Uh, but yeah, it's after the Dublin VOR. Did I say 107 or 017? Delta Whiskey 017. Firefly 702. Sweet. So he's going to be mine now in a few minutes. Need to keep an eye on him. Dublin uh, approach, Firefly 305. Holding at Sorin, flight level 9-0. Brilliant. Uh, there's 301, there's 305. Firefly 305, remain in the hold, descend flight level 70. Remain in the hold, descend flight level 70. Firefly 305. Firefly 301, Dublin approach. Uh, Dublin approach Firefly 301, pass your message. Firefly 301, descend flight level 9 or 0, and contact me when overhead Delta Whiskey 705. Contact when overhead Delta Whiskey 705 and descend to 9000, Firefly 301. 
Perfect lads, you're doing great. These are all doing absolutely incredible, I have to say. Absolutely incredible stuff. Uh, these lads are shocking close. Jesus. <laughs> Look how close they are over here. Jesus. Right, we're getting to it. How are we going for time? Actually, we're flying it. This is genuinely interesting. Well, thank you very much. It's brilliant. Hey, Kozaki, good to see you. Radar identified, indeed. Just back in time for the doctor. I need this mayhem. Come fly, come fly. Right, things are going to get busy now. So we have 112 on the inbound, but I've Muse fan just ahead of Dougal, so we need to be careful here. I think we're okay. And then I need to be careful because we're going to have this lad coming in. This is going to get tricky. Do, 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 do. Jesus, this is going to get tricky. So Muse will get established now shortly. And Firefly 112, Dublin Approach. Dublin Approach, Firefly 112. Firefly 112, direct LAPMO, descend altitude 3,000 feet. Contact Dublin Tower 118.6 when established on the ILS. Direct LAPMO, descend 3,000 feet. Contact Tower on 118.6. Firefly 112. And Firefly 112, if possible, reduce speed to final approach speed. Reduce speed to final approach speed, Firefly 112. Thank you, Dougal. All right, good stuff, lads. Did Firefly 003 give us a shout yet? Firefly 003, Dublin approach, overhead past the... Uh... Oscar, flight level, uh, flight level 21,700, uh, descending to 12,000 feet. Oh, Jesus. Uh, information, Unicom. Firefly 003, Dublin approach, identified. Descend flight level 150, cleared ILS approach, runway Two eight left, Oscar three Lima. Sorry, Muff, I can only hear you on a stream. Can you uh, put up your mics volume, please? Yeah, Firefly zero zero three. That better. Uh, okay, Iceman, you have an issue, dude. Because I can't go any louder than that. If you have the stream, you must have Discord audio down. Check your Discord audio, dude. Firefly 007 is looking good. Firefly 112 is looking good. Firefly 305. Where's he going? He's still in the hold. Firefly 003, mic check. Firefly 003, readability 5. Negative, I'm not hearing you. I can only hear you on stream. Oh, that's a problem. Dublin approach, I have you on a 5x5. Five five. Thank you. Okay, so issue is with uh, Iceman. Yeah, 5x5 five five here too. Sound. Thanks, lads. Firefly 003, Roger will take your time. Listen to me on Discords or on the stream. There's going to be a small delay, so you'll need to write down this instruction. I want you to descend to flight level 150. You are cleared for the ILS approach for runway 28 left. Report back when overhead Kepor. It's a waypoint, Kepor or Kepor. Let's hope that works. 702. Jesus, this is getting close. Dougal's inbound. Uh, Firefly 003, descend uh, flight level 150. Runway 28 left. Report back at Capo. Firefly 003. Perfect. Good man, good man. We'll make it work. Firefly 305, Dublin approach. Firefly 305, go ahead. Firefly 305, direct now to Sivna. 
Continue approach. Report back. Overhead. Delta Whiskey 706. Direct to Sivna, report back when overhead Delta Whiskey 706, Firefly 305. Okay. All should be well in the realm, we hope, right? Maybe the output, it could be the case, yeah. Shirley Dev, descend flight level 150. Wasn't he to descend to 1500 feet? Uh, no? Get, you're getting the ignition message as well? Yeah. Seems to be an issue with the uh, with the Phoenix. Okay, so 305 is going to continue on. 003 is going to give us a shout at Kepor. Worry about him in a while. 406, 006, 605, 505, and 303 are all on the way. Okay. Man, Gibbo, you legend. Okay, so we've got a couple of inbounds from the approach control. This is all grand. Um, and then we just have the other voice channels that are active, so... That's a big 10 good buddy. Hey, Cord, good to see you, man. With the Cheney Mac, 12 months, dude. That's a quick year. Thank you very, very much indeed. I hope you're well. Welcome to the madness that is pandemonium. Uh, right. What are we doing now? All right, that's Dougal. So he's going to be okay, 112. 301 is going to be after him. And then 702 is going to give me a shout when he's fully established. So he has to follow Dougal in. So he should be okay. 305 is now on his way to Sivna, and 003 is inbound. Then there's a little bit of a gap, which we're fine. Good spacing all around. He's are nailing Double the spacing. approach, uh, Firefly 702, uh, passing Delta Whiskey 017. Uh, how close are they? Not close enough. Firefly 702, Roger. Maintain current heading, and I'll call you back. Maintain current heading, Firefly 702. Double on approach, Firefly 301, overhead set Delta Whiskey 705. Firefly 301, Roger, continue approach. Report one over Delta Whiskey 706. Descend flight level 70. Descend flight level 370 seven, uh, seven and report when over Delta Whiskey 706. Firefly 301. Bom, ba -dum, bom, bom. And Firefly 702, turn left, heading 090. Turning left, uh, heading 090, Firefly 702. We'll have to vector him. Dougal's nearly in. That's good. 305 is on the way. 003 is on the way. And the rest of the lads... Right, we got a couple of minutes here. This is a little bit tight. A little bit tight. Firefly 003 over Kepo at 15,000. Firefly 003, Roger. Continue approach. Report overhead, Saren. Report over Saren, Firefly 003. Uh, let's see here now. Right. What do you reckon, lads? Will it be carnage? Dublin approach, Firefly 301, overhead, Delta Whiskey 706. Firefly 301, roger. Um, continue approach, report when overhead, Pisa. Report when overhead, Pisa, Firefly 301. Firefly 702, turn right heading 180 degrees. Turning right, uh, heading 180 degrees, Firefly 702. Okay, Dougal should be talking now to Tower, because he's very close. So he's turning right, heading down the way. Legendary. Now let's see, can we kind of get this guy in there? 
and Firefly 702, turn right, direct Lapmo. Contact Dublin Tower 118.6 when established on the localizer. Direct Lapno um, will contact uh, Dublin Tower uh, when, uh, when established on the localizer, Firefly 702. Good man, 702. Great work, dude. Great work. So I had to give him a little bit of a vector there, just, you know, it was getting tight. Doit. Dublin Doit. approach, Firefly 301, request descent to flight level 300. He's moving kind of fast, isn't he? And Firefly 301, uh, descend now, flight level altitude 3,000 feet. Flight level altitude? 3,000 feet, Firefly 301. This is going to be interesting. Firefly 003. Firefly 003, getting your read back now. Firefly 003, radio check. 5x5. Five five. Soup! Brilliant. Right, this is going to be great crack here now in a second, lads, because look at this. It's all happening terribly fast. Ha, ah, Jesus. Firefly 301, right turn, 270 degrees. Firefly 301, right turn, 270. Bum, ba-dum, bum. Jesus, Murphy, you're making up balls of this. It's grand! It's, it's, it's fine, right, it's grand. I've got this, lads, you know. We're here till Tuesday. Brilliant! But Jesus, I've lost someone. Oh, that's no, okay. They got handed over. Hello right. There. Where's 702? What the deuce? Oh, yeah. 702 is going to lap mode. That's grand. You need to turn faster than that. Right. There goes 301. Right. He's out of my airspace for the moment. Jesus, that was great crack, wasn't it? Now, look at 305 rambling in there with the Janie. He's descending. I'm going to turn him out of the way now in a second. Do, 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 do. And just as I have this headache sorted, we're going to get the rest of them coming in. Ah, this is great, Craig. He's a Jesus. We can get him in a small bit and then I need to turn him right, right, and then right again. Right? Uh, no worries at all, Kozaki. No worries at all, my guy. No worries at all. Brilliant. Right. It seems to be doing a thing now. And Firefly 301, turn right heading 1. Uh, cancel that. Turn right heading 360. Right, 360, Firefly 301. Do, 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 do. So we'll need to kind of squeeze him back in here now in a second. Um... So he's going to turn up that way, then we're going to turn him again, then we're going to turn him again, right. That was that was Murph doing a bit of improvised, you know. Uh, can't you give him right 090? I can, but not yet. I'm trying to space him. So if he's turning can to the I north... Get a no, shake off! When he turns north, I, I'm, I'm delaying his, his entry to Latmo and watching this guy as well. So he'll probably get, you know, he's going to get another right turn now over to probably, you know, 150. And Firefly 301, turn right heading 150. Right 150, Firefly 301. That'll put him roughly over here. And then 702, we're going to release him. He's going to head. 305, we need to be careful of him now. Do, 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 do. Look at all the pretty green dots, right? Uh, did 406 give me a shout? Firefly 406, Dublin Approach. Who's, four, who's 406, lads? We have a rogue aircraft. Firefly 406, Dublin Approach. 406, get your arse into approach quick. <laughs> Jesus. He 
He's completely gotten in. Like, at that stage, that's when Vatsim will start shouting at you. you got to be very careful there, lads. Very careful. Says your man who's about to crash people. And Firefly 301, direct now, Lapmo. Contact Dublin Tower on 118.6 when established on the localizer. Direct Latmo contact tower when established on the localizer. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Dublin approach, Firefly 305, overhead, Delta Whiskey 706. Firefly 305, Roger, continue approach, descend altitude 3,000 feet, report overhead, Pisa. Descend altitude 3,000 feet, report overhead pizza, Firefly 305. Firefly 406, Dublin approach. Firefly 406, pass your message. And Firefly 406, you should give me a shout when you enter Osgar, not too far away. Um, you are cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3, Lima. I fly 406, will reach out when I reach Oscar. ILS approach. Uh, no. Uh, Firefly 406, negative. Uh, you are cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, on the Oscar 3 Lima. I fly 406, clear to approach 28L. Firefly 406. That'll do. And Firefly 406, descend flight level 9 0. Descending 9 0. Firefly 406. Okay. I think we're okay. Are we okay? Good evening. A Dublin approach. Firefly 006 with information, Victor. Information Victor, wasn't that brilliant? Uh, where's me? Where's me notes? Go over here now. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Firefly 006, Dublin approach, identified. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima. Cleared for the uh, ILS approach, runway 28 left, um, Oscar. Tree Lima, Firefly 006. Super. Firefly 305, overhead pizza. Firefly 305, continue approach. Um, direct to Latmo, descend altitude 3000 feet. When established, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6. Descent to altitude 3,000 feet, direct to Latmo. When established, contact Dublin Tower on 118.6, Farfly 305. Strader, that was brilliant. Excellent. 100% accurate readback. Mother of Jesus, who's that? Approach the request uh, descent in altitude. Uh, Firefly 003 wants a descent. Yes, he can. And Firefly 003, descend flight level 9 or 0. Descending flight level 90, five, five flight 003. I was going to say, who's that? <laughs> I don't know who it is. Right, we're looking good ish. It's tight enough here now. They could be a little bit close. 305 might need to get a go around. Naughty Gnome is going to give out to me. I think they're okay. There's about three minutes between them. It all depends on how quick these lads get in. Do you know what I mean? I think, anyway. Oh, yes. Right, we're getting there. What time are we? Oh, we're nearly there. We're just brilliant. Hang on in there, lads. Oh, yeah. Good man, Scott. And Firefly 305. Reduce speed to final approach speed. Reduce speed to final approach speed. Firefly 305. That might help. Jesus, old veteran. You swear you were an ATC or something. <laughs> right. 180 till 5 nautical miles. Huh? Copper new. We're looking good here now, lads. We're look I tell you, we're looking good now, lads. It is all coming together. 
The spation is only beautiful. Jesus, for a second there, I thought I, I forgot about poor El Naughty. I think he's alright. There's Streeter, there's... That's all grand. Let him do the full approach. The one in front should keep higher speed. Yeah, yeah, keep the speed up. Believe me, believe me. I imagine, like... I imagine what I'm doing here is probably a little bit too tight. Like, Josh, who... who Josh, who looks after um, approach on VATSIM, like, I'm interested to hear his feedback. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'd be interested to hear it. Like, I mean, it's it's all well and good. Like, I look it. I'm trying to make sure I have control of aircraft. There is good spacing. There is a minimum three minutes between these two guys. That's quite okay. Um, and we're going to have the same here as well. Now, these guys, well, I don't need to move these guys on the full arch in here. Yeah, they'll probably get direct twos. But just remember, before you enter the airspace, you've got to give the controller a shout. And if you're not sure, call him early. It's okay. Know what I mean? Uh, anything above five nautical miles spacing on final is fine. Yeah, three minutes, five nautical miles. Two minute approaches are the minimum over in the uh, in the States. Are they, Rad? Nice. The one in front is required to be at approach speed by the outer marker to continue approach. It's a big deal. <laughs> I think we're good. 301 looks good. We're going to release him. Who's this lad? He's not one of us lads. Sure he's not. We don't know who he is. Uh, okay, so 305 looks good. Don't need to worry about him just yet. I'm going to hand him over. 003 is inbound. We'll talk to him. And Firefly 003... Direct LAPMO, descend altitude 3,000 feet, contact Dublin Tower when established on the localizer on 118 decimal 6. There's a mouthful. Firefly 003, direct LAPMO, the 118 decimal 6. Firefly 003. Uh, Firefly 003. Direct LAPMO. Descend altitude 3,000 feet. And contact Dublin Tower 118.6 when established on the localizer. Firefly 003 will contact Tower when established on a localizer. Direct LAPMO. And the last bit of the jigsaw is descend. 3,000 feet. There you go. Descend 3,000 feet. Five. Uh, Firefly 003. Correct. Thank you. Cool. Remember, lads, pen and paper Dublin beside approach. you. This is Firefly 605. Overhead waypoint Oscar. Flight level 1-0. Information Victor. Ah, I'm going to press my hand. Firefly 605. Dublin approach. Identified. Cleared for the ILS, runway 28 left, Oscar 3 Lima. And you can descend flight level 9 or 0. Cleared ILS approach, runway 2828 Lima on the Oscar 3 Lima uh, arrival. Uh, Firefly 605. Sweet. Oh, wait, descend uh, flight level 9, 9 or 0. Perfecto. Excellent. 605 is good, yeah. It's amazing. Most of them are good. Nearly, in fact, all of you are good. Like, go back a couple of months. Go like, go back a couple of weeks, sorry. Like, it's the, the changes that are happening. It's incredible. What are we saying? What are we saying? There's a beep. I'm getting beeped. Hi, lads. Do 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 do. Right. Okay. So far, so good. I think. 003 is looking good. 406 is looking good. Wait, is he? Oh, yeah, he's okay. 006 is looking good. 605 is looking good. 
505 is inbound and then 303. We're nearly getting through. They can't stop here because they haven't passed the stop bar on the runway. Aha. Right, lads. Also, you're not vacated the runway at Dublin until you pass the stop bar. Yeah? You're not vacated the runway until you pass the stop bar. That's vitally important. So don't say you're vacated until you actually pass the doohickey. Does that make sense? You haven't vacated until, you know, you've passed that gadget there. All right? Just be aware of that. But yeah, listen, we're hoping to get a lot of feedback from tonight as well, from all the controllers tonight. We'll all have our own notes. And that's going to help guide us into next week's lesson. But I'm like, I'm sitting here and my mind is blown with how good this is going. Like, genuinely, my mind is blown. You, All the pilots taking part tonight, incredible effort. Really, really good. That's before I crash anyone. Right, uh, brilliant. Who is that now? Oh, that's your man in an F-18. Right, Grant. Uh, so far so good. So far so good. And we're going to wait for 505 and then 303. Okay. Now, where are we at? Murphy is taking on stream. It's just autopilot for him. Oh, talking on stream. I talk anyway. What's planned for next week? Bad phrasing. Uh, the outside of the V. Wait, what? Uh, thank you, Dougal. Yeah, it's a bit of crack. It's a bit of crack. Okay, so he's gone to 118.6. See ya. Now, do we risk it? Do we risk it, lads? Firefly 406, Dublin Approach. Firefly 406, pass your message, Dublin Approach. Firefly 406, you can turn left, direct LAPMO, descend altitude 3,000 feet, and contact Dublin Tower when established on the localizer on 118.6. Firefly 406, straight approach. Lapmo and contact tower once established in localizer, and um, that's it. Descent altitude 3000 feet. Good job, Firefly 406. Good man, good man. Uh, Firefly 006, Dublin approach. Dublin approach, fly fire 006. Uh, report when overhead Saren, uh, descend altitude flight level 70. I keep saying flight level Report and altitude. Report overhead, Saren, descend flight level 7070, Firefly 006. Cool. Dublin approach, Firefly 505, it's flight level 150, uh, direct to Dublin via the Oscar, Oscar 3 left uh, arrival. Firefly 505, Dublin approach, identified. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left. Oscar 3, Lima. Descend, flight level 9 or 0. Uh, cleared for uh, approach for runway 28 left. Via the Oscar 3, Lima uh, arrival. Descent to... Uh, flight level nine zero five 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 zero five. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, so we're just needing 406 to go direct Lapmo. Because he hasn't done it yet. <laughs> Come on, you devil. Don't break me here. Come on, you can do it. We'll give it a second. There could be just a delay. Is that? Yeah. Hmm. Firefly 406, Dublin Approach. Fireflies 406, heading to Lapmo. Roger. Now 605 is there, 505 is there, and our last aircraft of the night is 303. You are doing very well, lads, very well. Dublin Approach, you're clear to land. Colonel Fork is here! It's good to see you, man. James, we need to get you involved in this. We'll put you in the tower. 
Dublin Tower 55303 DME3 inbound to Oscar on the Oscar 3 Lima arrival. That'll do. Uh, Firefly 303, Dublin approach identified. Cleared for the ILS approach, runway 28 left. Oscar 3 Lima. Cleared on the arrival for runway 28 left. 55303. Good stuff. Colonel Fork, I also, I also need not to work so much, right? I saw a trailer for Fallout last night. I, I don't have time to watch it yet. I'm going to watch it on the plane going to Vegas. I should get a good few episodes in. It's like 12 hours or something. You know what I mean? But yeah, it looks very good, man. We are all for mayhem. Indeed, we are all for mayhem. <laughs> okay, so 406 is doing well. He's rambling on in. Uh, 006 is going to give me a shout overhead Sarin. 605 is doing well. 505 is doing well. And then we have 303 there in the back. So very, very well done tonight. Very, very well done. Um, We don't have them here. Just the outer marker. Yeah, you can put... The, I didn't put the markers in. So you have an outer, the middle, and an inner marker. And, like, your aircraft will actually beep when you're at these different markers as well. Okay, so 406, we're hoping... Jesus. Yeah, he's going okay. Keep 3,000 feet. 006, he's at flight level 70. 605 at Niner. 505 should be going to Niner. And 303 is holding his altitude. The star goes on forever. But that's the point, Sterling, because you can see why... And like if you look at a lot of the... Uh, if you look at a lot of the arrivals now around the world, they've, they've made them more like this very long and drawn out because the airlines don't want their aircraft in a hold. It's it's a waste of fuel. Like, it, it literally wastes fuel, nothing else. So by having these longer stars, you're, the aircraft is able to descend and not burn fuel. In a hold, you're maintaining altitude. Therefore, Dublin approach, Firefly 006, uh, approaching Surin. And Firefly 006, Roger, continue approach, report overhead, Delta Whiskey 704. Continue approach, report overhead, Delta Whiskey 704. Firefly 006. Yeah, it seems enormous normal at major airports, yeah. Did you know if a deer were to do a flight sim, they could steer with either their left fo their left or right hooves? Turns out they're Bambi Dextras. <laughs> Jesus, I'm in bird. <laughs> oh dear. Did you see what it did? Ah, brilliant. <laughs> Ah, this is this is brilliant. Oh wait, Jesus, who's this now? Who are these lads? Lads, have we two rogues? That's okay. We don't need to worry about them. I'm just worried about my lads. Colonel Fork, you needed to go flying. We need you to run like enforcement. <laughs> It'll be grand. Oh dear. High flies four zero six reaching black like now. Firefly 406, Roger, when you're established on the ILS, contact Dublin Tower, 118.6. Firefly 406, reporting 118.6. Let's see what happens. Sean Duff, good to see you. He says, uh, well done to you, Murph. Oh, well done to you, putting up, oh wait, putting all this on along with all the other lads, like Rambo, Gibbo, uh, you never know, you might always end up being ATC on VATSIM. Are you mad? I wouldn't have the time. But thank you, Sean. Listen, it's, it's, our mission is, it was 10 episodes to learn this stuff. And after that, we'll move on to something else. Of course, as we always do, we tend to do other things. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping folks found this useful. If you do, well then, mission accomplished. If you learn something, Jesus, heaven forbid, you learn something, right? Brilliant. Um, but yes, let's, let's see how this goes. Uh, 406 needs to be talking to Tower, I would say now. Oh, he's gone. Brilliant. Ah, he did it himself. Fantastic. Right. No longer mine. 406. Well done. Uh, 28 left now. Uh, Jays is 28 left. Get yourself down there. <laughs> this, this, could, this could be fun. Uh, right. 006 is moving well. 605, 505, and 303. Lads, you're all doing absolutely brilliant. 
And Firefly 006 took an approach. Double approach, five five zero zero six. Turn left now, direct Latmo, descend altitude three thousand feet. Contact tower on one one eight decimal six when established on the localizer. Turn direct to Latmo, uh, descend to three thousand feet, and contact tower once established on the localizer. Five five air zero zero six. Okay. As soon as he sees something shiny, he'll go find something else. Me? Yeah, pretty... Oh, look! <laughs> There's a thing! Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, I'm a bit of it like that. How are, um, how are the boys getting on, look? So Gibbo has jumped into tower listening to the madness. I'll jump in briefly. Or should I? I will. It was all quiet. They weren't saying anything. Ah, jeez. Right, now, where are we at? We're over here, look. So 006... He's on the way in. He's going to go Latmo. And then with these guys following on. Have I anyone else up there now? Who's that? Who's that devil? And that devil. Uh, 303 is doing good. 505 is doing good. 605. Let's talk to him. Firefly 605. Double approach. Firefly 605. Go ahead. Uh, descend flight level 70. Descend flight level 70, Firefly 605. Sweet. Okay, we're going good. We're going good. 406 doesn't look to be going terribly good. He's going for the wrong runway. <laughs> You're going for the wrong runway. Get into the left. Quick. There he goes. There he goes. He's going for the left. Jesus. Now. Oh no, don't go that way. He's going for the wrong runway. Uh, should I all go for some pizza? Just I love some pizza right now, Zythe. Wouldn't that be lovely? Huh? What a way to end the evening. A slice of pizza. We have pizzas here. I didn't have time for dinner tonight. Literally got in from work. Literally in from work. Changed. And here. That's a level of either devotion or stupidity. I don't know what it is yet. But sure, listen, we're here doing the thing. How long are we live now? It's going to be a four-hour stream on a Monday, lads. Right? I have work in the morning. This is going to be great. Be grand. I uh, don't know uh, if it's this training, but in real life, you don't use when established contact tower. They might go through and need a new vector. Fornax, it depends on the location in the world. Are you talking ICAO or FAA? So some of the lingo is very different. For instance, right, you could get taxi to runway 28 via. We don't usually get that. You, could, you In Ireland, for example, you get taxi Delta 1, Delta 2, Charlie, hold short the runway. Do you know what I mean? When established contact, they might go through LLZ, etc. Uh, and need a new vector. But they may not get vectors. It depends. So, like, for instance, right, when you're established on the localizer, that's when you could talk to Tower, because that's, in, on, especially on VATSIM, yeah? So, if that's for real world versus VATSIM, you're you're definitely going to have me there, man. Defo, you know? Let's hear for the boys. Boys, Mav, absolutely, man. They're doing great. So, like, you'll often hear at Dublin, if it's especially if it's only Tower online, they'll say, when established, contact Tower, or, you know, call me back when established. We never transfer anyone before they're established. Okay. Well, then we'll put it down to training. 605. Now, when you say we, foreign acts, what country? Is it in Ireland? Because I'm only going by what I'm listening to. Or maybe the lads will confirm that, because I don't actually know. So, like, what you're saying is, when they're established, then they talk to Dublin. We're not saying talk to Dublin. Do you know what I mean? When established, contact Tower. Because they might go through it. But, like, they, they, they wouldn't be contacting them until they're established, if you get me. Maybe not. 
We never transfer anyone before they're established. Okay. Is it where for what area though? Oslo. Same as Dublin. That's interesting. Okay, so 006 is okay. 605 is okay. And 505. So what you could do, Fornax, right? You could say direct lap mode. And then you keep an eye on them. Or you can say report when overhead lap mode. Or report back to me when established. And then you'd hand them over. Is that what you mean? So you would say report when established on the localizer. Then they'll call you back up and say... Um, and then you'll say I'm established. And then they'll hand you. Is that what you mean? I fly 406... So what's the uh, Dublin approach, requesting parking. Uh, wrong frequency there, amigo. Uh, Firefly 605, mm. did you have a message for me, Shannon, approach? Negative. <laughs> Roger, Firefly 605. Just jumped on the wrong frequency, that's all. <sighs> Ozymandias is away, you take care of my dude. With radar, we never use report over anyway. Direct IAF, initial approach fix, cleared ILS. When you see they are established, transfer to tower. Okay. That's interesting. Firefly 505 at Title 9000. Uh, Title 90. Correction. Uh, that's okay. And uh, Firefly 505, Roger, continue your approach. Uh, descend flight level 70. Continue approach and descend to flight level 70, Firefly 505. Don't approach 55006, uh, established on ILS, uh, switching to tower 118.6. Uh, Firefly 006, roger. Two, two dogs, good to see you, man. Jesus, 16 months. Thank you very, very much indeed. Reporting points are more for non-radar. Okay. So with radar, we never use report over. Right. Fierce interest and stuff, lads, but sure, listen, it's all about, don't worry too much on the technical or the technicalities. It's about the voice procedure, right? It's like, if you get an instruction from ATC, the whole point of this is it's reading back that instruction. That's what we're trying to focus on and not get caught out by, you know, what they're asking you to do. Do you know what I mean? So like, if ATC asks you to do a something, well, sure, you need to know how to do it, but be able to communicate it back. That'd be the main thing. You know what I mean? I would think. Uh, Firefly 605, Dublin Approach. Firefly 605, go ahead. Firefly 605, left direct to Lapmo. Descend altitude 3,000 feet and call me when established on the localizer. We'll try this then. Uh, with more traffic, you would have to use speeds on final, so you want to keep them on frequency until separation. Uh, turn left, direct to lap mode, descend to 3K, or sorry, 3,000 feet, and um, call you up when we're on the localizer. Firefly 605. Treat. Ooh. Tower. Sweet. How many aircraft flew tonight, lads? I reckon there was a few. Like, we've limitations as well, Fornax, with this. We can't see speeds on this. We kind of can, but, like, we really can't. Uh, didn't seem... Yeah, there was still a few. 
Okay, so 605 should be turning left direct Latmo. 505 and 303 are coming in next. We'll probably turn these lads over here as well, I think. Do you know what I mean? Probably 16, I'd say. I think. Was there about 16 people flying? Okay. So 605 should be turning left. Now, there's probably a delay with this coming in, isn't there? I imagine. Uh, Firefly 605, Dublin Approach. Firefly 605, my autopilot is not my friend today. That's okay, I'll vector you in. Turn left heading 080 degrees. Turn left, uh, heading zero eight. Oh, shooker. Sorry, turn left, heading to four zero degrees. Four zero. You know, we'll get there eventually. Right, I'm as bad as, well, I'm as bad as anyone. But yeah, we'll go um, to four zero degrees for the moment. Fornax, sure, jump on and control two, if you four, want to. zero. Roger. My <laughs> five six oh five. <laughs> Jesus, we'll get there eventually, huh? The only thing that I'm missing now is doing a couple of push-ups, running a cooking show and, you know, dancing, I suppose, or a bit of music. Do you know what I mean? Jesus. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Turn around there, fairly lively. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Dublin approach, Firefly 303, uh, 4.5 DME, inbound Sorin. Firefly 303, roger, continue approach, descend flight level 9 or 0. Descend flight level 9 or 0, Firefly 303. How are we getting on 605? Get, get in there, fairly lively. Grizzle has just raided the channel. You're very welcome aboard. Happy Monday, guys. Hope you had a great stream. And, uh, right? Trying to do ATC. I'm getting schooled in it. Double alerts. Double alerts. Um, yeah, I'm getting schooled along the way. So what we have here is our own kind of custom-made network, right? And, uh, basically we have... A we have control of Xbox and PC pilots uh, on Microsoft Flight Sim. And we're doing a course basically on the communication. Mainly on the communication. You're doing it wrong, Murph. It's Hello. the communication part. Do you know what I mean? Welcome in, everyone. Hope you had a great stream. Breadmaster, thank you for the follow. Uh, Fornax, just subscribed. Thank you very much, Fornax. <laughs> I feel like I have to send a letter of apology to Fornax. Dear Fornax, it is I, Murph. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, heresy. Heresy, we say. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, welcome in, lads. Happy Monday. It's it's kind of like, well, it's kind of calm at this stage. Uh, you know, it's, it's no matter. We're very welcome in. It's, uh, well, you know, it's a radar screen. It's about as exciting now as you can possibly get. It's Monday night, you know. Um, you look at this big E, just. Don't mind him at all, right? It's, it's grand, you know. The mayhem is over, yeah. It's, it's getting there, though, right? So we have three dudes left to bring in. So we've uh, Firefly 605. He's on his way, direct Lapmo. Then he's going to go over to Tower. We 505, continuing as a star. And 303, continuing on his star. So we should be, uh, we should be good. We should be good. Uh, yeah, Richard Ricardo's here. Welcome in, man. A wild Monday Eve. What were you streaming? What were you up Firefly to? Firefly 605. I believe we're pointed in the right direction now. Good mind yourself. Roger, Firefly 605. Uh, direct Lapmo. And give me a shout back when you're established on the localizer. 
Roger Wilco, Firefly 605. The system starts to work. Brilliant. Now, this is going to be interesting. Famous last words. We should be good. <laughs> Nomad, good to see you. Say, Sai 120 is here. Went on my first e jet today. No way. Welcome aboard. That was the wrong one. Yeah, you have to turn off Gibbo's lights, Caleb. Brilliant. <laughs> We have nothing to fear but Murph himself. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Next week, I'm going to be teaching you um, ooh, uh, rockets, space rockets. I'm going to teach you all about space rockets, you know, and how to control them, right? Anyway, why didn't I go back to this? Why didn't I go back to this? We invented air traffic control. The Irish did. So, like, right, we'll rewrite the rule books. Rewrite them. Whatever you know and up until this point... Consider it to be wrong, yeah? You're getting schooled by the people who invented it. That's a blatant lie, and don't listen to a word of it. But you know what I mean? Uh, right, how are we getting on here now? Firefly 505 double approach. Ah, no, Mad, thank you very much indeed. Pass your message. Firefly 505, left direct Lapmo, descend altitude 3,000 feet. And report back when established on the localizer. Left direct Latmo, uh, descent 3000 feet, and report back when established on the localizer. IR5505. Brilliant. Rewrite, uh, but you can actually read them. Or can I actually read them? The FAA is hiring ATC next week for reals. Oh, are they? Jesus. Uh, no, thank you very much indeed for the uh, for the sub, dude. Uh, three months? Mother of Jesus. Mother of Jesus. Um, been lurking for the last few weeks. Thank you, Richie Ricardo. I knew you were here. I knew you were here. Uh, where are we at now? Take a bit of flying. Vectors to Copenhagen and then FedEx cargo run from JFK to Boston. Nice, Grizzle. That's awesome, dude. Great job. Where were you flying? Uh, always with Gust. What? It's grand. This is all turning out to be lovely now. Jesus, I turned my microphone down terribly low. This is all grand now. So 605, he's going to give us a shout. Who's that devil? Where are you going? Get out of that garden. A320 and the A300. Do you know, the A320 is awesome. I, I flew it tonight and I flew the A300 yesterday for the first time and I don't know how long. It's so nice. They've done like savage updates to it. Do you know? It's 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 like it's highly optimized now. It was brilliant. Ow. Uh Grizzled at Nando. They went through the floor. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> James Fuller. Poor old devil. I did that as well. No, no, yeah, no. You're testing the capability of the landing gear and the runway surface. And if they're both there at the end of your landing, well, then it went well. It went very well. Do you know? Uh, right, 605 inbound, 505, and then we're just waiting on 303 to get him in there now as well. And uh, I think that's all she's going to write, lads. Oh, he tested them all right. <laughs> oh, dear. It's grand, I do the same myself, you know. Uh, now, where are we at? Going for the destructive Firefly testing. Firefly 605 is established on the localizer. Firefly 605, thank you. Contact Dublin Tower now on 118.6. Bye-bye. We'll contact Dublin Tower on 118.6. See ya. See ya. Fornax, am I doing it right now? Tell me I'm doing it right. Brilliant. Someone's got to do it, right? Yes. Grizzle, you see, we do the hard thing so everyone else doesn't have to. Do you know what I mean? Fornax is sitting there now like a, pride, like a proud dad. He's like, yeah, Murph, you finally got it right. That's a long walk to the terminal, right? Thank you, Fornax. <laughs> Brilliant. I want a t-shirt to say I've learned how to do the thing. Here comes 505 next, and then we'll have 303. Could we nearly... No, we'll even sit for a minute. Great minds think alike, right? Brilliant. Right. 
should really have music or something playing, but the way my audio is set up, like, it'll be very loud. So it's, 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 you'll just have to deal with me for the minute. I do have me sim running, though. Look, there's a bit of taxiway and a runway, right? And who's on the ground here? Shannon. Just red man. Jesus, why? why, why? Everyone's up in Dublin, look. And uh, here's my little hairy plane over here, look. Would you look at the cut of that? Would you look at the state of it, lads? It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Huh? It is gorgeous. In the recently updated A320, in fact, it was only updated today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was today. Did they say when they're um, releasing the, uh, was it the 319 and the 21 they're doing? I think. Yeah, I think it was. 319 and the A321. Yeah, today, yeah. Nuts, isn't it? Okay. 505, 605. Let's talk to Firefly 303. Uh, Firefly 303, double approach. Firefly 303, pass your message. Firefly 303, turn left, direct, lapmo, descend altitude 3,000 feet, and call me when established on the ILS. Direct to Latmo, descend to 3,000 feet and call you when it's out, which on the localizer, Firefly 303. Cool. Uh, not yet, but soon. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, no, I can't release him yet. He's not established. All right, that's the last aircraft in. Ah, brilliant. Who's on the ground? Dish. And there's everyone in there, look. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. There's a good few of them, isn't there? A good few of them out tonight now. Uh, right, so our last few aircraft are inbound. That's pretty cool. What aircraft are you most looking forward to now, lads? Out of everything that's been released so far. And we know the 777 is on the way, but like, what are we most looking forward to now? Your most anticipated aircraft. 505505. Establish no localizer. Firefly 505, thank you. Contact Dublin on 118 decimal 6. We'll see it. Contact Dublin on 118 decimal 6. I should have said Dublin Tower. 8380 Avro RJ. Yes, yes. Oh, the Dukes. The Dukes is going to be brilliant. Energizer, I didn't say hello to you. Hello to you. Yeah, the Dukes are going to be class, lads, aren't they? 8350. No idea when that's coming out, though. Anything that's quality made, it's a super tie. Yeah. Okay, so 505 is gone. And 303 is now heading direct to Lapmo, and then he gives a shout when he is rambling in. Fornax, brilliant! Ah, <laughs> Jesus! He's sitting there, Jesus, that Murphy fella. He's not as thick as he looks, and he looks fairly thick. Who's releasing the A350, says Nomad? So there is a... Oh, Jesus, who's doing the A350 for the sim? I was going to say any bills, is it? A350. Any bills? They've announced the A350. Probably won't come out until next year. Fly by wire? No, they're doing the 380 Gibbo, isn't it? Or are they doing one as well? I don't know. No, I think, no as far as I know, Fly by wire are doing the 380 and any bills on the 350. I think. Any bills are also doing the 380. You know, Captain Sim. Do you know what it did last night? No, no. Now be careful, right? I flew a Boeing 777 last night on Vatsim. That's right, that Boeing 777. And, uh, well, it did the departure fairly well, but it can't really fly an approach. We saw you, says Rambog. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, like, what do you mean you saw the approach? Um, yeah, it was a 777 from Captain Sim. <laughs> and it was like, okay, it looks very pretty now. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's shite, but it looks pretty, right? And, uh, yeah, take off and all that was fine. It, 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 the, the numbers don't add up at all, right? It's like doing a thousand miles an hour in second gear. It's like, what? Right? Uh, and it can handle, it can handle taking off. Departure wasn't too bad. I was caught on Adam's stream. We spotted you looking. Um, but yeah, it, it it can't handle an approach at all. It puts it like it puts in user waypoints, it freaks it out, doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know what to do. Do you know? 
Watch out. Anyway, it's a PMDG triple seven in the old community folder. No, it's not. I wish it was. I've, we've known it. Now, like, my understanding is this, right? This is what usually happens. PMDG will give a release date usually about two weeks before they release it. Usually. So I think anyone who is hoping to have the 777 across the pond, unless they do something like very different, I don't think you'll see it, do you know? I don't think so anyway. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to call. It is hard to call. It's hard to call. Do you know? Uh, did you hear about the toll is 330? No. So, someone is making one on X-Plane. Tolis and um, Fly Factor, they're working together on making one. You'll be uninstalling the... Uh, indeed, and I will, Super Tie. I absolutely will. Like, oh God, yeah. Let's do a comparison video. No. No, Tolis about it. No, Tolis about it. Brilliant. Is that Tolis supposed to be Telus? That's very good, Hemingbird. Okay, 303. He's doing well. He's nearly established now, the devil. He's nearly in, look. Where's my buttons? There we go. Do, 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 do. Um, am I doing cross the pond? Probably not. Probably not. The question is, why would you install anything from... But well, they look nice on the outside. Uh... And saying that I probably will end up doing Cross the Pond, I don't know. I don't know. I've no, I don't think I got, I, I definitely don't have a slot. I leave things like that to the more abled people. Do you know what I'm saying? Dublin Approach 553303 three, established on a localizer. Firefly 303, thank you. Contact Dublin Tower on 118.6. We'll see ya. 118.6. Bye-bye. I wanted to do the Irish event, but it was booked up way in advance. Dougal, do you know what you can do? If you just fly the opposite direction from Kevlevik back, do you know, there's no slots needed and it'll drive ATC nuts. Brilliant. Sorted. Um, but don't fly to Shannon, maybe. Fly to Kuna. <laughs> Brilliant. That'll wreck their heads. Something fierce. Can't believe Murph just said that. I'm only joking, lads. Don't worry. I'm only joking. Uh, now, yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Right, I did right. That's, I've done my job, lads. Last aircraft has been handed over. And, uh, well, who have we got? Where's Gibbo? Is Gibbo on the blower or is he gone? Uh, he's in tower at the moment. Let's jump into tower and have a listen to the last aircraft coming in, shall we? Now, can I actually capture this landing? I think I can. Can we, like, appear me in Dublin here? Uh, we'll use science. We do science. Echo India Delta Whiskey. Da, 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 da. Yes, yes, yes. Appear me here over there by yonder. Uh, go. This could be hilarious. I think the Tolus 330 is a separate thing. They had something on Facebook today. I didn't see it, Caleb. Tolus make incredible aircraft. I have the 319. I had the Fly Factor uh, A320. Flow is just so good, isn't it, Muse? Firefly, what? fly, correction, Firefly, 505, vacate right and right, Sierra. There's ATC now. Welcome to Dublin. 555, from the... Thank you, see you, bye-bye. There's the ATR in. 505, contact ground, 121, decimal eight. Contact ground, 121, decimal one. 555. Oh. Firefly 303, surface wind 220 degrees, 4 knots, one way to the left, cut the land. Here he comes! Clear to land, Firefly 303. So that's the last of our inbound aircraft, right? And, uh, Jesus, lads, it was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? So our last inbound aircraft for the night. And, uh, that's just an incredible effort by everyone. We'll ramble up here to the 414 and see him coming in. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible. 
So I suppose, right, while we're here, we'll do a very quick kind of run back on what we were talking about. Uh, remember when we spoke about airport um, etiquette and all this sort of jazz, right? There's some procedures that you can and that you can't do at Dublin. Um, and again, you just need to kind of get used to it, right? So do you see here, when you clear the runway, right? So you have the I'm clear of the runway mark. Usually, usually you don't stop here. Usually. Because, I mean, they're not going to turn, like, they can't turn you up this way. The idea would be, when you vacate, I would then say, you know, vacate it at Sierra 5, request taxi to parking. That's what I would say. And then they might say, okay, talk to ground. Because they'll, they'll probably clear you onto the Sierra taxiway anyway. So you've got to be careful, because a plane might stop, you know, here. His nose wheel is sitting here, right there. But sure, like, depending on the aircraft, so the rest of them is still here. So you might not actually be, be properly vacated at the runway. Now, if you go somewhere else, you see it's a little bit different. Um, you know, unless you make it all the way back to here. But again, you, you'll get used to this. It's, it's a matter of flying the route over and over again. And even though it might sound terribly boring, um, you know, it, 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 it stands to you. Like, I'd highly recommend fly the route offline so you start learning the different waypoints, the holding uh, patterns, all that jazz. Fly the route, study the charts. Uh, and then when you fly it offline, you know, follow the follow the or follow the ground school document that we have. Because you'll get all the phraseology in there. All right? You will get all the phraseology in there. I need to edit this now because, you know, if I was handing lads off from approach before they're established, um, I better tidy that up a bit and have a conversation with someone who told me to do it this way. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we can update it. That's why there's different version numbers. All right. Um, but yeah, it's only a matter of just kind of practice along and see who we get on. Jesus, where's he gone? Did he land? There he is. Do, do, do. What do we want? Plane noises. When do we want them? Meow. <laughs> As I found to my cost, it's vital to know your aircraft inside and out. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Right, so let's jump on with uh, the lads. I think we do have some lads here. Quick chat in here now. Uh, let's see. Firefly 303, vacate right and right Sierra. So vacate right. Vacate right and right Sierra. Firefly 303. So you hear that one. Vacate right and right Sierra. So you're actually getting a, a clearance onto the taxiway. Yeah, so it's vacate right Sierra, vacate Sierra and right on Sierra. You know what I mean? A little late for school night. Johnny Ardvark, good to see you, man. Well done to everyone tonight. Five, five, zero, three, contact ground, one to one, decimal eight, yeah. One to one, decimal eight. Thanks very much for the ATC. Brilliant. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. And just great stuff. His plane is still off the ground, James. Yeah, yeah. If there's, uh, if there's a difference in scenery, it does that. We'll add that to the uh, list of things hopefully Flight Sim 2024 will do. Uh, but anyway, hang on, I'll jump in here to the lads. And good evening. Uh, we have Adam and Gibbo. Uh, and Josh is here as well. Well, lads, how do we get on? If they can hear me. Oh, wait, I'm not even talking to anyone. And we have... How are you? Gibbo, Adam, well, how do you get on? What do you think? Take two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't just... sure if that was the stream. You just, you, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know with me, lads. Well, how do you reckon we got on there tonight? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. To be fair, it wasn't half bad at all from what I saw. Wasn't half bad at all. Another Vatsim controller. And Josh <laughs> looks after approach. So like, do you know what I mean? This is good news. Brilliant. It's more coming from Josh than it is uh, from me. Not at all. Well, I'll listen. I'll just say this. I'll say this now. I've seen a lot worse for myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's, it's great feedback to get because, look, at the end of the day, this isn't to replace um, or compete. This is designed to help folks kind of break the break the ice uh, and get them involved with VATSIM. Um, and, and I think, you know, over the last few weeks, it's definitely going from strength to strength. Uh, people are getting more confident. They're getting more competent. 
Uh, and I think they're definitely getting more comfortable. And and that was kind of the 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 objective here. So um it was a busy night. I think we had a bit of head scratching with the tech earlier on. I think Rambog's machine did a thing. But I think overall it, it went very, very well. Yeah, everyone got off the runway a lot quicker, which was uh, good to see. Yeah, hundred percent. Murph, I gotta say, right? Um no one's listening here, you know, but you did a phenomenal job at approach. You really did. I mean, none of us wanted it. <laughs> you, you drew the short straw and you did phenomenal. I mean, the the thing is, it's fair to say we want to learn. We want to get it right. But Adam, Josh and the lads have, have nothing to worry about. We've no intentions of becoming controllers, right? Certainly you and I don't. So um, it's more about the the pilots and, and them getting used to talking to ATC, getting used to the frequency changes, getting used to some of the procedures rather than the controlling being pitch perfect. But we will take the feedback on board and learn from it. But um, it was more about the pilots rather than the, the controlling. And that's that's the intent of this course so that we can eventually move over to VATSIM. So um, a phenomenal job, Murph. You you definitely had the toughest station by far. So uh, So good job. Ah, you're back in the mail, Gibbo. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. But no, it's fun. And like, look at lads, it's 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 a learning curve for freaking all of us, right? I mean, I'm not a VATSIM controller at all, right? And like, when you have, you know, you have Adam and Josh who are here, like, they have to go through a lot of training. I mean, there's a massive knowledge base that the guys need to learn. And even at that, there's stop gaps so far as there's limits. They'll have different grades, you know, S1, S2, S3. There's different grades in which they can operate on. And then they have to build up that experience and then they bring it on to the next level. Um, so it, it's it's what you're getting here is it's very much a flavor of what you can get on Vatsim, uh, which, which by and large tends to be very, very good. But um, yeah, no, I, I do appreciate that, Gib, 100%, man. And I think from uh, from the pilot's perspective tonight as well, like, you know, I've definitely noticed better readback, better uh, communication, better control of their aircraft, um, which is which is great to see as well, because there's nothing worse, hopping into a plane, you don't know fully how to do the thing, uh, and then you have to do it, and, you know, it breaks. So, um, yeah, no, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, but Murph, in terms of the pilots themselves, just to add, you know, from a tower and ground perspective, like, as you just said, the, the confidence was the really the biggest thing that I noticed was different tonight mm -hmm. versus other nights. It really has grown from folks. And that, I think, comes from familiarity, from the practicing and over and over and over. And, you know, they'll they'll get there the same in the same way with approach and, and into landing as well. So it's um, it's really come on huge, man. So uh we're we're getting closer and closer to jumping over i think we really really are and uh like it's it's where do we go from here like we'll have a bit of feedback during the week just to see where we think a couple of things need to improve i'm on that list right um but yeah it'll be uh it'll be interesting to see how we go as uh, rambog just joins us man yourself well tell me did your whole computer break or what happened to you no, I was trying to uh, to get over to Shannon to get some tower view, and uh, the sim just froze. So a uh, quick reboot was required. The problems of real life ATC, eh? I mean, that's that's what happens in the real world. Happens in the sim, you know. Um, but yeah, well, it kind of happens on that sim. It kind of does actually. The scope goes down as well. It does. Hmm. But uh, Rambo, what do you think tonight? How do you get on, man? No, it's been great. It's been great. I, I was just uh, listening in on the stream uh, here when you were discussing. And uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, like everyone has been doing so well tonight. It's been it's been really fun. Uh, and it's nice seeing the progression, as you mentioned, with not only the RT, but the uh, the pilot ability as well. It's been uh, it's been super nice. It really, really has. And uh, again, like f for anyone who's like thinking, Jane, like, is there much of a difference now between what we're doing here and what we're doing on VATSIM? There's not an awful lot. Um, okay, you know, here it's 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 quite okay to make a mistake. And on VATSIM, depending on how busy the controller is, it can happen, right? Um, but it's like everything. Look, it, it, the sound is getting better, as in your confidence. The procedures are getting better. The control of the aircraft is getting better. And, uh, you know, it's 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 gathering kind of momentum. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. So, um... What we'll do, we'll have an old debrief and find out where we're at. We'll come up with our plan for next Monday's lesson. And um, 
that'll be kind of it for tonight. We're back to you on Wednesday with the news. And on Friday, we continue on with our Bremen flight. Uh, so it's all happening, lads. So I want to thank everyone. Uh, a special thanks to our controllers tonight. Uh, for Adam, Rambog, Gibbo uh, and Josh was helping us in the background this evening as well uh, very very much appreciate you coming on that bit earlier as well tonight lads uh, I very much do appreciate it and uh, to all our pilots who took part take a bow incredible work tonight lads uh, and it's great to see and for everyone in the chat helping us along keeping us company and correcting me when I need correcting which is a lot uh, well thank you very much and the support and the raids um, it's 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 been a great night and thank you very very much indeed so until the next time uh, look after yourselves and uh, we'll see you very very soon take care Keane says the man from the Premier County who has a storm as his bounty <laughs>